I just realized, can we be heard on the BRB screen? I don't know. Can we? Chat? Doesn't seem like it. They just turned no. it off and I can't hear us. Oh, wait, no, I can hear myself. Oh, 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 they can oh, hear us. Oh, there's a huge delay. <laughs> I had to refresh with a delay for me. Whoops. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Hello, hello. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I I wanted I I wasn't expecting presents, so I didn't oh, really awesome. have like a, <laughs> a thing planned for that. Is... Oh oh. Oh, no? I hear signs of almost life. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't call the counts actually living, but uh, yeah, how no. rude. And that activity, you you're forgetting to which uh, oh. place you're going, uh, unless you want to be a patrician. No, 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 no. My drinking habits. Me. <laughs> I can't stomach the grog. I see. No, I much prefer your wines. Mm-hmm. Quote unquote wine. We import some of the wine. <laughs> yes. I'm sure the coastal people taste different. <laughs> oh, they very much do. This different diet makes such a difference. All the chiefs currently are they them. <laughs> hey. Uh... All of the counts are here. <laughs> Yeah, should we just get started? I... I just wanted to do a thing. I guess we'll just interrupt what for presents. I just asked yeah, if I'm there was... The way, Martin, of the song. Oh, I freaking loved it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if someone comes in with presents, then we'll just interrupt our monarching for, for presents, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we, we can adapt. Yeah. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. then, then I guess, let's get started. Another attempt at living. So, y I guess the chiefs always start with seven military, and the counts always start with seven farming, and the patricians start with seven trade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I assume other ones will have, like, different stats as well, which Your is interesting. Your majesty! Your majesty, I've seen... Scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. I'm gonna sit this one out. Have to make lunch and voting for my phone isn't gonna be fun. Fair enough. You can always mm -hmm. join in halfway through. Trans You'll always be the wizard in, in our hearts. <laughs> yeah, Tress writes this in a different country. Yeah. <laughs> Sipping tea slash blood. Feeding people to krakens. <laughs> Normal Being the turnip, <laughs> turnip lord, <laughs> turnip monarch. To delay any longer would make the nobles restless, and uh, when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. They wouldn't dare. No. <laughs> you should pay more attention to your history books, your majesty. The nobles are always plotting something. Yeah. Slander. Meanwhile, in the background, you saw it. So, guys, guys, the river, right? <laughs> We're doing the river thing again. Mm, so. Yep, nope, definitely yeah, in the river. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, yeah, uh, river thing. Okay. Right? Let's yeah. get this over with then. <laughs> <laughs> you could veto it, but you would I, immediately lose your veto. I could veto it, but I'm not going to. I. For tradition. <laughs> I know what must be done. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking sigh. Can I mention something? Sure. Do you remember I told you about that other person that uh, yeah. was giving themselves the outfit for the snorkel and stuff? In their chat, I know Martyr is there when they play uh, King of the Cast, throw them in the river. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I, I guess the tradition spreads. <laughs> 
It's too funny. It is. It is very funny. I mean, I do like swimming, we but need, not like this. We need art of it. We need <laughs> art of Luna getting chucked in the river. <laughs> oh, lovely. So you know, owls yeah. do not look good when wet, right? We are not, we're not water resistant. We traded in our water resistance for the ability to be stealth. <laughs> it is decided the monarch will be thrown in the river. What kind of coronation is that? A very traditional ceremony dating back to Queen Alma the Wise. It's meant to represent you being reborn as a true monarch. And I it's just should... plain funny. <laughs> <laughs> the nobles pick you up and carry you out to the Treadwater River, hurling you into the shallow water with a cheer. Like you... I did do. Wait. Grab the fucking queen up here and throw her in the wall. In the wall? <laughs> no. Surely water. Luna would be thrown into a gracht instead of a river. I suppose I would be thrown into a gracht instead of a river. But... I'm I'm trying to rhyme river into that song. It's <laughs> not easy. When you climb back up the bank, soaking wet, the Chancellor steps forward and places the crown upon your head. Is it your imagination or some noble stifling giggles? No, you rose out of the waves like Venus in her shell. <laughs> <laughs> Where did my clothes go? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You said you wanted out of your fancy clothes. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> your majesty. <laughs> when you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Hmm. Fluff and lies. <laughs> as cute as they are, owls are made of fluff and lies like all birds. I am not cute. <laughs> So, that thing about lies, so it's like reverse voting right? She just said that she was cute. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, you know, last time it already went great, but... Um, hmm. What about yeah, trade? Let, let's do trade. Maybe maybe just focusing on, on the monies and the shinies is more my, my style. Oh no. Okay, I, I deadass thought that that was Luna's account saying Luna is cute for a second because I saw the sword <laughs> and I saw Luna for us. No, I would never because it's untrue. You might have tricked my bot, but you won't trick me. <laughs> what? I suggest over the next few years, you focus on improving the kingdom's overall trade as much as possible. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. It's gonna live long enough to have a child. <laughs> you managed it last time. Yeah, yeah. but not not much be beyond that though. No, you're mad. Yeah, sorry. I'm like we we know this. We know. <laughs> now, your Majesty, the monarch's first duty is to meet the Council of Nobles. The nobles hail from across the kingdom, the wintry north, the desolate east, and of course the wealthy coast. Yada yada, all that. You know that stuff. Yeah. Start laying eggs, Lumba. <laughs> I need a I need like a person first. I need to marry. We wanna Good just go days ahead, your Majesty. You'll need it dealing with us a lot. You, I mean, we guys wanna just skip through this? <laughs> Cause we already know. Let's see um an honor of final made your acquaintance. Bye bye! <laughs> Oh, pleasure, pleasure, wolf. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and they immediately start arguing. <sighs> Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. I wonder if we'll ever get like that. Your mother tr tried to avoid the, told you to avoid the throne, and that your father will be setting you up. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Ooh. Ooh! Look at that! That's very nice. Oh yeah! Luna lays eggs. Is Luna a Wyvarian? No, I'm an owl. Sylvia of the Cross Sella Dynasty, charismatic Eastern orator, leans delicately on the podium, whispering carefully. My fellow cow, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. 
we can bring back those days of glory. But not while the false monarch Luna wears the crown. How are you guys gonna do it? Do we try to uh, possess her again? <laughs> I mean... Do we try to make Luna vampire? Possession isn't always vampire, I don't think. But well, I, I would love to try be a vampire. Like, if I have to go out, I think I'd rather be vampire than beheaded. Very well. Well. I'll buy her Luna Malfesto version. <laughs> See. Though possession can, I believe, also be that you're literally just controlling me. Like... Oh. Yeah, yeah. I think it was Ascension that is vampire. Mm. The Count's plan to summon a demon to possess the monarch, putting them totally under their control. First, they must lull the monarch into a false sense of security. To advance their scheme, the Counts must lower their defiance to four or less in two seasons, which you already oh, achieved, yeah. so I need to make you angry now. We are a peaceful people. <laughs> I, like... I grab the wine and spill it on the floor. Never mind. We are no longer peaceful. <laughs> Hegvir of the Mordred the Red Star Fallen clan, well-known northern prodigy, stands precariously on a longhouse crossbeam, screaming like a fallen god. Give the north. We all know I should be on the throne, not the imposter monarch Luna. How do we make that happen? Hmm. I think I want to go for intimidation this time. Intimidation? Mm. Fair enough. Also, Mordred, I believe you're in my uh, my thing because you were just <laughs> you're yeah. trying to overthrow. <laughs> you're trying to become king. Yeah, Mordred and Sil are currently chiefs. I got Corsell on my side. Yeah. Unanimously, they decided they will raise the stability and intimidate the owl. Good! The chiefs plan to hold the monarch hostage in their own palace. First, they must lull the spymaster into a false sense of security. <laughs> what is this with lull lulling people into a false sense of security? <laughs> Everything is well in the kingdom, what the fuck? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Advance their scheme. The chiefs must raise stability to five or more in four seasons. So basically, I need to purposely throw my kingdom into chaos to live. <laughs> or easy to lull. Dang, I gotta be more paranoid. Quintel of the Ten Cattle family, well known coastal tycoon, scribbles with a well used quill on the hardwood desk, explaining in measured prose. Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of Monarch Luna. Something must be done. Uh, mm, Horizon, you're on the patrician, so you can vote here. Ooh, doppelganger. Did we do that already? I think, it sounds fun. I think my... Last year my I did that. Did it. Yeah, last yeah. year Busy did it. I remember that. Oh, okay, okay. Let's, let's just, That'll be fun. Do do it just also. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how you guys do it. Because we, like, you know, made a... Summoned a doppelganger. You guys will probably do it slightly different. Yeah, they'll probably hire one Disguises. or something. If we vote A when Luna throws her thing into chaos, when we win too. I don't know. But it looks like you guys are going for the, the doppelganger. Rebellion happens. <laughs> the patricians plan to swap the real monarch for a perfect doppelganger. First, they must gain the trust of the spy master. I really hope my spy master is wise to this. To advance their scheme, the patricians must keep their defiance at four or less in four. Okay, so I need to piss off the patricians and the count, <laughs> and I need to throw my kingdom into chaos. <laughs> Yes, suddenly, whenever you spill wine on a count, they're like, it's no worry, it's no worry, truly. <laughs> Gritting their teeth. Yeah. 
<laughs> just feel like wine on both the patricians and it counts. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> just both of them looking at each other, just like, what? <laughs> Uh, Will, you don't have the game, so you can't shoot. So you are on yeah. the patrician thing. Only Why are the patricians getting so many people? What the fuck? Last round with me. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, I mean, like how it. nobles choose to vote is hidden from the monarch's view. Interesting. Oh. I can also raise my authority, but reverse voting has been pretty good. Hmm. I wonder what anonymous voting would do. It basically it means it so you guys video. can't really like. We we can't see how. Yeah, yeah how it's like, going. I see what like mechanics wise it does. I'm curious what sociology wise it does. Like, yeah, but I'm not sure if that would like help. You know. It would give us the opportunity to bluff like crazy if we wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> I think reverse voting. I'm curious. You know what? We'll go with that. Oh. We'll see what the giant spider. Oh no! Let's oh, not these once again. Uh, let's get the honor guard first. I'll just have Martin close his eyes whilst we go for the spider thing. Yeah, if anything pops up with actual spiders. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt that they will. Good news, oh, your majesty. Earlier. I've received a vision. I saw you bathed in holy light, blades and missiles crumbling to dust before they could reach you. You do not need to recruit an honor guard. The night god will shield you from all harm. Oh. I've never seen... Oh, wait, that's the... I've never seen the name for protect someone with a sword through their chest. They need tangible guards, your majesty. <laughs> Um, I made my Wait, decision. What? I don't need an alert card. <laughs> oh, do it. That's do so. It. Faith. Yep. This will be fine. Okay. Uh, I think. Is, am I supposed to read this? Yeah, that mm -hmm. feels like that's you. Your Majesty, I must protest in the strongest possible terms. The nobles will consider this an insult to their warrior's prowess. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, I see how it is. I mean, I would get the chiefs because I would anger the counts and the patricians, but also, I kind of like the idea of just being like, no, <laughs> the knights <laughs> will protect me. The three people are lined up, ready to serve. Luna just flips them all off. <laughs> <laughs> and more importantly... An honor guard. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> that was yours. More importantly, without an honor guard, you're totally unprotected. Is your life worth so little to you? Yes! <laughs> I'm willing to risk it for the fate. Hmm. Fine. No doubt the common folk will see us as a sign of strength. Hey! Yes, the common folk. Only the common folk. But don't believe me when you wind up on the wrong end of an assassin's blade. Yeah, I'll take that risk. She comes back. It's me, I'm the assassin. <laughs> <laughs> you fool! You fell for it! Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! Die! And last, a monarch who trusts in the ninth. You have nothing to fear, your majesty. Your enemy's arrow shall miss and their short sword shall falter. I sure hope they will. Um, let's check out the spiders. Um, Martin, close your eyes. We'll warn you if there are spiders. I'm looking away. Okay. No That's visible fire. spiders on screen. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, look at them. I love Wanyaks. What kind of voice do you want? That is a distinguished fucking look. I love the aesthetic yeah. accounts. Like, oh my lord. I mean, yeah. to be fair, Barely. all of their aesthetics right. are great. Oh. Mm. Your Highness, a forest on my land has been completely overrun by giant spiders. Some are as big as a horse. Oh yeah, that that's Whoa. bad. 
The trees are shrouded in webs and travelers are going missing. We must put a stop to this. Agreed. <laughs> burn it! Burn it with fire! <laughs> what should be done about the giant in spiders infesting the forest in the east? We must learn to coexist with giant spiders. <laughs> 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 the army. Yeah, see, I want to fire. I want to uh, to make them angry. So, um, anything that that's like not good, uh, figure it out. Um, I would go. They must mind. learn to coexist with giant spiders. Oh, so we can see. Can we see the amount of votes? We can see the oh, amount yeah, of votes, but we can't see who. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Yeah. Wait, isn't part of that kind of lost with the fact that you can just look at chat and see yeah. what <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sir Spider Shitter well, Spiders? You can't see the, the side which does it. Yeah, but you can technically see who voted for what and then. Yeah. Yeah, like, you could try to discern it, but it's way more of a struggle. Yeah. I mean, I think I know what Mordred voted for. Just a guess. <laughs> Five. Simple little guess. Just a, just a gander. But yeah, I don't think I'll be using this power. Like, I'll be switching this out, because that's not very useful for me. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I won't... Eastern troops sweep into the shrouded woods, hacking down webs and killing any eight-legged creatures they come across. But it doesn't go well. The spiders strive from the shadows, dragging soldiers off to their doom. By the time your troops return, they've taken heavy losses and the survivors are deeply traumatized. Understandable. <laughs> well, <laughs> Thank you for the follow, like Kofo Goblin. Arachnids, and that's fair. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and the military went down. This is hopeless. The spiders are more numerous than ever, and now my peasants are too afraid to leave their village. Yeah, so they're angry with me, the trade is struggling, and the stability is down, which is all mostly great for me. I need to throw this kingdom into disarray to win. We should have just taken her money. Yeah, I mean, I do want trade to be up, so that isn't entirely good. Destruction beams and people flee, burn those who disagree. Oh dear. You sent your chancellor Quail to Quail University. Perhaps the scholars will have some ideas to, for how you and the spiders can exist peace coexist peacefully. Perhaps we can ride them. <laughs> Should have made peace with the spiders. Battle would not be so. Wait, bad. are we gonna have more wizards? We have more wizards. <laughs> Unfortunate tidings, Your Serene Highness. A meddling wizard has set up shop in Tranithia. Tranithia. Um, I believe it's Athmorel, the Stormbringer. Ooh. Then we more. I'm bored with another wizard in the court. Me too. Wizards have managed to tame creation themselves. They wield untold power, natural dis and are natural distressed by the church. Even the High Inquisitor wouldn't dare to move against them openly, at the very least. All the more, as her name suggests, is a wizard whose domain, domain includes both sky and storm. Can I get a wizard wife? <laughs> Did my can I get a wizard you wife? You just want a wife. You just want a wife that is I able to <laughs> defeat your problems for you. I, I want a wife that could ruin my kingdom. What kind? <laughs> I love the kind of woman that will just kill me. No, no, ruin my kingdom, not me, just the kingdom. <laughs> Difference. She's put a call. Uh, she's put out a call for new princesses, which is a rare event. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for many. Oh, Ice is back. I just posted my birthday present for Luna and Luna's Discord. We'll take a brief intermission. Da, 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 da. Ooh, we also do have a fan art section, but art is also fine. Like, just for the future. <laughs> okay, okay, you guys gotta, you you guys gotta see this. You guys gotta see this. Where's my? Oh, thing? they're so cute. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, there we go. Look at that. I genuinely would love that as a bookmark. 
Oh, like, look so at the hatching. Oh. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. Is this yeah. physical? Like, is this digital or traditional? This is traditional. It's traditional. Yeah, like, I genuinely... It is, it, it, I know, uh... It's so well scanned, though. Drawn by hand, and just very well scanned. Also, hello, Patrick! Welcome, birthday buddy! Patrick is also, is, is... Patrick, the, 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 is also... Ha, the, 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 Born on uh, the same day. Yes, that, that is what I've been trying to say. Happy birthday! It's a photograph, not a scan. Ooh! That is a really, really well, like, centered photograph, like... It is so, so clean. And also, just the, the art is really pretty. Like, it's so pretty. Thank you. Mm. I I am saving this uh, right now. You guys have to wait. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. That is fair. Uh, see... <clears throat> and save. I will be adding this to the slideshow after. <laughs> That's how my brain remembers. But I, I, I will, I will try and add it. It's so cool. And look, you can also have me near Wildwood without being in it. Imagine that. But thank you, thank you so, so much. It that is a really, really cool gift. And it's good to see that you still kept up the drawing. Also, thank you for the health check, Patrick. I hope you've been... have been good. I worked as a phot photographer for... Oh yeah, that's true. Let's do... I'll do a health check. Stretchy stretch. Look away for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, oh, that's 5, clever. 4, 3, 2, 1. It's Luna in her stream. Oh, that is very clever. <laughs> that is very clever. But thank you. Thank you for you guys just in general all together have made me like just have a really, really fun birthday. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a fun birthday. Yeah, it's it's been really, really. I have been talking a bit too loud because I'm excited. And I'm feeling it's my throat. <laughs> I usually aren't this like abundant <laughs> oh i mean not a bad thing mm. yeah will also gave a gift will's gift was the confetti if you if you guys type in confetti you can see it <laughs> yeah it's very hard to give me gifts <laughs> i'm i usually refuse them but it looks so good doesn't it I woke up early for the birthday stream. No harboring of the end times today. Yeah, I was gonna say you're here super early. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is really, really nice to be here earlier. Like that that that's so sweet of you. I've been practicing drawing in the background. I just haven't posted anything because shy. You kind of oh. Oh, you're you're right. I forgot to announce it. Oh my goodness. I had it all typed out and everything. And then I forgot to hit enter. <laughs> I feel that. Make a noise. Umu umu? Hoot hoot? I, I don't even know half of the noises you actually want me to make there. Wait, wait, guys. I just saw something about King of the Castle. How many percent of players do you think have continued their dynasty for the first time? Uh, I don't know. Not many. I feel like it is going to be quite low. Yeah. Take a percentage guess. Five percent. Like five, yeah. Three. I'm going to say three. I'm going to go lower. You guys have a little too little faith. <laughs> it's 7.1. <laughs> I mean, not very far off. Let's continue, shall we? Only 27 <laughs> have chosen an heir! Damn. Interesting. Um, She's put on a call for new apprentices, which is a rare event. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for many. Any? 
Droves of unwashed, glory-seeking workers from all over the coast are lining up for their chance. Oh, <laughs> Mordred! Mm. Not just peasants. I, Mordred Starfallen, have also decided to apply. The competition will be fierce, but those common most powerful noble this council has ever seen. You? You couldn't put your cloth on if it wasn't for your servant's help. Dang. We can't let this go ahead. Not only is it heresy, it presents a clear and dangerous conflict of interest. Then we shall assemble the soul. Oh, I became a handsome black-haired lad in this night aim? Nice. Yeah, hopefully you'll fare better than last in incarnation. <laughs> Not eaten by a kraken. My humblest thanks, your august majesty. Um... See, mm -hmm. I want them to become a wizard. Mm -hmm. Because that's funny. Same. But I don't want our defiance to go up. And I do. <laughs> um, defiance will go up some way. Have fun. I'm letting more to become a friggin' magician, wizard. Yeah. Thing. Wizard. 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 Everyone vote A. Turn Mordred into wizard. Um, it has never oh, gone wrong, oh, aside oh, from the hey, few times hey, someone let, died. Let the chief's defiance go up. No, the chief's defiance will go down, I think. Because it's for the chief's sake. Like, they'll, yeah. they'll yeah, be like... No, that's what I'm saying. For good hair to go there. <laughs> the wizard. 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 Come on. Wizard, I'm giving oh. you guys more time. <laughs> Wizard! Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't deny the wizard! <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm being biased. I want a wizard! <laughs> yes! Wizard! Sir <laughs> 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 Spider <laughs> coming true! Wizard time! <laughs> By sea and storm. How will they keep up with their noble duties if they're spending all the time on the coast with the wizard? I don't know, but wizard. <laughs> Spider and, and if... other counts. We need to lower our defiance. And what if, ninth preserve us, they actually pass their apprenticeship? There's never been a wizard on the council before. No, oh, we'll just have to cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> You've nothing to fear for me, your majesty. I'll always have the kingdom's interest at heart, even as a wizard. I hope so. <laughs> Didn't you hear Mordred? S'mores wizard. We're all getting s'mores. Yeah. So, Chief Mordred Starfallen sets off immediately on their journey to the coast. What I worry about is how those s'mores are getting cooked. Admiral's presence in Tar Tranesia attracts all sorts of visitors, though the power of her latent magic starts to wilt crops for miles around. Okay, farming is not great, but hey, trade is up. I do like that. And that's the end of our first season. Mordred's gonna destroy another kingdom. Camelot wasn't enough. Um, let's see. We don't want trade up. So, if we could get some stability going down, that'd be good to stop the chiefs. Nope. Everyone if, if, vote for A, please. If you're in our thing, vote for or fund A. Yeah, if you're like not chiefs and you want more time, then you probably want to stop them from doing that. You probably want to lower the stability. Just saying. I will bide my time and. Yeah, you, you you can't bide your time if they win before you, and they did already. Thanks, Mordred. See, I don't have the money to outbid them here. Well, they're they're gonna they're gonna run up, like you guys are being all peaceful and they are going to win. We shall outmaneuver them soon enough. For now, we're winning, it's and there's fine. nothing that benefits us. <sighs> I mean, we'll tie. It's fine. Yeah, I'd say this is a great outcome. Just yeah, do nothing. Like... <laughs> 
both of the- <laughs> Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, hold up. No. Congratulations. <laughs> you played yourself. I mean, Cheers I'm still to at that. I need to be at, so I'm fine. Yeah, they'll still- wait, I need to increase or decrease stability? Uh, Let's check you need to uh, raise it. At least five. Okay, okay. Woo. And I need to make That's it funny. so it's below Dan. Let's oh. find the spouse first and then we'll deal with the spiders. Also, thank you for the sip, Rickle. Hello, hello. Welcome in. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can't avoid your advisors, the nobles, <laughs> even the spymaster. But there's one person you can't avoid. Your mother. <laughs> Why haven't you found your spouse yet? It's been almost a year. I've been busy. You'd better find the time. Don't worry, I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What's your preference, man, woman, doing the mind? What if I say I'm not interested in love? <gasps> My dear! Who said anything about love? <laughs> it's royal marriage. Just tell me what men of candidates I should find. You can always say no after you've had a look at them. Okay, fine. Women. <laughs> Excellent. Now, I'll send out the messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. Who I want a pirate queen or <laughs> wizard, <laughs> wizard girlfriend. Okay, let's go check on the spiders. Oh, <laughs> greetings, your majesty. I'm the ar <clears throat> I'm the arachnology <laughs> arachnologist. I swear I'm the arachnologist. <laughs> <laughs> I can say the word. I'm what? the arachnologist you sent for. <laughs> Having spider problems, huh? Also, hello again, Alicia. I'm back. Um... We want to learn how to live alongside them. Ah, yes. They're Terechnus Magnum, collectively known as the giant spider or gigantiller. I just decided this correction just can't speak. <laughs> Fascinating <laughs> specimen and with many practical uses. Gig gigantula, like a, like a tarantula, but G then... Gigantula, yeah. G gigantula. G gigantula. gigantula. <laughs> You can raise them as livestock and milk them for the potent venom. Or you can harvest their silk, which makes for fine sails and formidable armor. I'm not sure if I want my accounts to have potent venom. Things don't seem so bad any longer. <laughs> Especially seeing as I don't have a guard. Spill it! <laughs> oh, you can ride them! <clears throat> Last but not least, you could train them from birth to be ridden as mighty steeds. Who could resist a cavalry regiment that comes from to battle atop these almighty erectus? To be fair, that would be very. I think you'd win like, with that. That would be yeah, incredibly imagine, intimidating. Imagine you the actually. Counts. You you might have a chance against the chiefs with that. Yeah, like. Yeah, <laughs> At that point, <laughs> and we're like, no, we're back the up in the door. Their fucking vampire aesthetic coming over the crest of the hill upon <laughs> giant spiders, <laughs> riding forth blade in one hand, goblet of red in the other. And the chiefs would be like, we're, we're going up for the north where the spiders can't reach. It's too cold for them there. <laughs> well, <fun>. goodbye. <laughs> oh, god, I see your point. And I can see. <laughs> <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Now, but first, you need to get a hold of some eggs. No easy task, I'm afraid. Yeah, most most creatures do not like you stealing their eggs. Well, having this army would be wonderful, wouldn't it? No. <laughs> Lure to sleep the spiders alone. <laughs> um. You're oh with the counts? I do want to raise defiance, but I don't really want to lower trade. How long do I have? By next season. I do kind of need to make them angry, huh? You have plenty of time for that. Are you going to deny your kingdom cavalry 
of spiders. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's, yeah, whatever. Gonna, I'm gonna okay. help the cops. I'm gonna leave them the <laughs> hell alone. <laughs> Have some, some spider mounts of fun. You guys really want to have to deal with this giant spiders. Great benefit. Well, I tried. I tried to stop the spiders. Kenny, <laughs> your generosity will be remembered. Your generosity yeah, sure. of plundering my treasure, my 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 treasury. It's <laughs> not Martin's run. No, it isn't. It's is not. <laughs> you send an urgent message to the Adventurers Guild. The next day, a band of scarred ruffians with impractical weapons appear before the council to hear your proposal. Ooh! Oh. They look cool! John Spiders, is it? No problem, I'll swing back to headquarters, pick up some antidotes and bug-smashing hammers. Actually, we just need you to steal their eggs. Steal their eggs? Weird, but I guess the customer is always right. The adventurers return a few weeks later, their wagon droning on their glistening heap of spider eggs. Yuck. You order them sent to a nearby farm to be hatched and raised as livestock. I hope expected them to fail. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the eastern farmers are up to the task. I mean, nah, they are pretty good farmers. That's why I voted for that, because it didn't have a chance thing. So I'm like, okay, so that's a guaranteed success. Uh... Oh, look. More pretty character oh, designs. Yeah. Oh, your majesty, a traveling, a traveling bard. She says she has come to compose a song for you. Oh, oh, look at her fancy, oh. fancy feather so in her hand. Found your, uh, this runs girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this we might have. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who wants to be Sally Six Fingers? Uh, <clears throat> Not just any bard, your highness. It's the best in the land. Sally Six Fingers, they call me. A song, you say? About me? Why, of course. In fact, I have the tune and verse all but ready. I have saved my best work for you, my monarch. Thanks, smooth. All I require is a subject. What should I tell the masses of you? What would you like to inspire? Ooh... See, I think if they go for teach them to love me, my stability will go up, which I don't want. So, I guess teach uh, them to fear me. Uh, I am a fearsome uh, owl. <laughs> I'm so... I'm very scary. I will do so, your highness. Absolutely. Give me but a few weeks and everyone within the crown lands will know of your might. Heck yeah. The race authority, probably. Yeah, exactly. Right. I need but only a small payment of 500 gold for the time. A discounted rate for one as esteemed as yourself. What? You deserve more than that. What about a thousand? What would that do? I don't know. What would that do? You'd give them a thousand gold, I think. <laughs> it probably makes the chance of success better. Yeah, but what a, the chance of what? Like, what? Of, like, a successful song, I guess? I, yeah. but Maybe I, there's a chance that they just fucking dip. Fake quadruple. I don't is, think I want to go broke. I think we'll just... Okay, we'll, we'll give them double. Yeah, I was about to say, like, doubling the money does a lot. Oh, thank you, Majesty. She hurries out of the throne room to do your bidding. Song has the desired effect, with everyone impressed by your regal bearing. Yay! I mean, I don't particularly need my authority raised, I just need my yeah, stability lowered. Was, uh, it was like, if the song is gonna succeed or not. Yeah. It does seem that I didn't succeed in pissing you guys off, though. Hidden in a labyrinth beneath an eastern castle, a pair of counts meet to speak of their schemes against the monarch. The, can the Chancellor sends me a f sent me a fruit basket last week to thank us for our efforts in helping the crown. It's working. Our reputation is secure. A problem now is Archbishop. His beady little eyes will focus on us, even if 
Anos, if we're not careful. You must evade him at all count, at all costs. For the next stage of their scheme, the counts must lower their fate to four or less in four seasons. Okay, so I need to well, no yeah. longer piss them off. I need to keep fate high. Counts. Hedonism it is. <laughs> oh, the counts clear some woodlands to build new mills, making 500 wealth. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. Congratulations, you guys are getting a, a, a trade bonus. Oh, uh, we do not need trade, Your Majesty. I mean, in that case... Bollocks. <laughs> nah, I, I won't make you guys angry this time. I don't want you guys rebelling. Uh, from the country full of giants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want the giant spider country like, to rebel. Imagine, and Alicia's on our side right now. Imagine Alicia riding a giant spider towards you, shouting Viva la Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I don't want that. Uh, I do still want to piss the patricians <laughs> off, though, so... Better not tax me do you right really angry. want, though? I mean, you don't you really need want to piss to off. I need money to pay my new bard girlfriend. <laughs> 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 She's not your girlfriend. She's a gold digger. <laughs> Speaking of girlfriends... I barrel you. <laughs> I don't know what it is, and I'm afraid. I have found three potential matches for you. One eligible young woman from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. Yes, yes, I know. And I don't even get to meet them. <laughs> There's no time for sentiment. No, just need to match. Uh, you just need to match blah blah blah. So marry and you netting or you'll end up like her. <laughs> but <laughs> we don't even have cake. <laughs> okay. She, sure, whisks, let's get that. she whisks away the cloth from the first portrait. This is Marta. M Marta, firstborn daughter of the Northern Wiggle Venter clan. Beautiful, isn't she? Apparently, she's also exceptionally well mannered and agreeable for a Northerner. Um. For, for a Northerner. I've heard she spends most of her time playing cards or making wagers against friends to hang. And hang us on. She was already engaged once, but it didn't last. I'm not sure why. Hmm. I'm um, no. I need money to pay my girlfriend. Honey, that's not a girlfriend. That's what we in polite terms call an escort. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh... Hey. This no. is <laughs> this is Nymphadora, the eldest daughter of the Eastern Alicia dynasty. Apparently, they had a hell of a time getting her to smile for this portrait. Uh -huh. I see that. She bought a controlling interest in a silver mine in the east and made a killing. She's obsessed with her family's legacy. I'm just gonna, like, turn them all down and see if I can get a pirate girlfriend. Alicia's, Alicia's daughter has a cheekbone that could stab someone. Oh, yeah. Digs for silver. And finally, <laughs> from the coast, we have Herona, the wealthy heiress of noble patrician Will. I mean, just look at her. She's gorgeous. And apparently she's got a silver tongue, too. Lots of silver this time around. Oh, silver tongue, you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. I was gonna yeah. say, her hair is silver, <laughs> too. She's not gonna be your, your companion for long. Maybe she's one of those people that just get, like, silver hair on an early age. Maybe it's dyed. <laughs> yeah. Well, if anyone would have the money to do it, it would be those people. You better take her or I will not be kind. <laughs> but what if I don't want her? <laughs> it could be worse, could be a lot better. I'm... I don't want any of them. <laughs> what if I just... What do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions. But you'll gain a lifelong alliance. You will, but I want a pirate girlfriend. <laughs> well, which of them do you wish to marry? Mm, no. So Without Alicia. a marriage, you're alone. No alliance and no support, not to mention an insult to the most powerful families in the kingdom. Good. What possible reason could you have for choosing not to marry? I need to throw my kingdom into chaos. Goodbye, stability. Hello, fate. <laughs> 
I'm sure the church will be very pleased with your show of devotion, but the nobles won't. They'll see it as an abandonment of your duty. Alicia, we need to lower faith. Oh yeah, you <laughs> did just increase the faith with that. You reject my finest loss, woe upon ye. Goodbye stability, hello fate. <laughs> Monarchs don't yeah, have that... the luxury of freedom. You'll learn that sooner or later. I got a that I got was... an achievement for that. <laughs> that was the best move. Like I thought she, mm -hmm. she would disrupt you guys' plans. I was like, okay, this works out for me. And then she disrupted ours as well. <laughs> yeah. I managed uh, to in one point. fell swoop by refusing to marry stop all like, of your plans. <laughs> Alicia, will you. Will put a demon in control of Luna's body and marry your daughter to her. No, fate will protect me. Ah, yes! <laughs> that, that is Where's how it's entire, entire run. No bodyguards, fate will protect me. No wife, fate will protect me. <laughs> the Archbishop wishes you to speak to me. You should have taken the, the saint ambition. <laughs> Yeah, I should have. I didn't expect it to be such a fate run. <laughs> Your Majesty, I wish to speak with you about the situation in the North. Too long have the Northerners been allowed to worship their heathen tree gods, embracing the fines of the Ninth Gold. Allow me to send some of my best missionaries to the North. It's for the good of the realm. North, if they send any more religious people, just shoot them in the knees. <laughs> um, I'll have to bring it to the Council. Of course, your majesty. I would expect nothing less. Uh... Oh! You could still make this just be your choice? Yeah! <laughs> no. No, you, you, you wouldn't dare. I mean... The question is, what would it do... Like, what would it do when we fail? Because we're probably going to fail. Real, real. The queen has a terrible taste in partners. I have no taste. <laughs> I want no partner. I am married to the kingdom. <laughs> I'm married to, to to the fate. It's time for Luna burst. Um, you know, hmm. Actually, I I don't know which is better for me, which is hard. I do. I'm looking at this and I know exactly what I want you to pick. Yeah, I know what, what is better for you. Mm. The thing is, if we... Huh. Huh. If we feel stability, it will lower, probably. So, I'm vetoing that. So, this oh, isn't wow, really... Uh... This isn't really a choice. Is democracy manifest? I only gave you the Here's illusion the of choice. Thing. Here's the thing, this is what I wanted you to do. Because if we bank on that 30% chance and win, stability goes up to 5. Yeah. So if, I, if we succeed the role, yes, my people will not like it. But. But we will potentially get the stability. So please, give me that stability. Let's see. For once... People are completely uh -oh. This is a region of our culture. We will not forget this, you rabid pack of tyrants. The mission goes ahead despite the protests from the that's, chiefs. That's not even... <laughs> Can we just put out, point out, that's a race of three defiants before they even arrive. Yeah. The results are less than promising. After being run out of more than a dozen towns in the north, the missionaries head back to the capital with their tails between their legs. Huh. Hmm. I mean, at least stability remained where it was. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. Not again. <laughs> it's outrage. It's undignified. She can't do this. Excellent, my ancestors. Why is there a skeleton in front of me? <laughs> the fact that you it's can me. also scream. <laughs> it's me, Chief Mordred. I was struck by lightning on the first day and every inch of flesh in my body evaporated. Lady of the Storm gave me a second chance, but now she's cast me out. Damn. 
She says I have no discernible magic <laughs> acumen, whatever that means. <laughs> well, I guess that's what you get for trying to be an apprentice. Whoops. <laughs> I demand vengeance. Show off more what it means to insult a member of the Monarch Luna's Council. Hmm. <laughs> no, she lives! <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's impressive that she's still living. Arrest Admiral for skeletonization. Oh, damn, I couldn't just take Mordred's lands. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> arrest for skeletonization. Yeah, I want to arrest for skeletonization. I think we yeah, need to arrest I, them for skeletonization. Yeah, I, I want to talk to this wizard. Chad, we need to arrest them for turning someone into a skeleton. Like, like. Maybe we get to maybe we get to see them in court. Maybe we get to meet the storm wizard lady. <laughs> I want to meet the storm wizard lady. What if you? I swear to God, if you seduce the fucking storm w li wizard lady, <laughs> I know, I know how. I will use my strongest <laughs> of pickup lines. <laughs> I have seen you try to flirt. My str my my ultimate pickup line. It's beyond belief. You guys will never. It it is too strong. So I must use it sparingly. Oh oh, I know it. <laughs> yeah. If you were a carrot, you'd be a nice carrot. Oh yeah. Works. I some I was Always. expecting it to just be. Hey, do you need help up from the floor? Huh? <laughs> you said a pickup line. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you send a squad of mercenaries to arrest Admiral. Predictably, your posse disappears without a trace. Arrest a wizard, you might as well bottle the ocean. <coughs> a week later, you find out that everyone in Tranesia has been suddenly and mysteriously killed. No one can prove it was Admiral, but the charred remains of the villagers lining the streets don't help our case. Oh, there goes our stability. <laughs> And there goes our farming. What a fool. You why would you anger her like this? All of us a measly chief insulted by their own inadequacies. And I even managed to piss off the patricians even more. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> Not long after, Mordred Starfall and kicks the bucket anyway. Apparently, proximity to Admiral's magic was the only thing keeping them from falling apart. Oops. Wow. <laughs> Luna is way too good at throwing her kingdom into chaos. Yeah. Luna has burst mode. <laughs> if I'm gonna die, I'm taking all of you with me. <laughs> Chief Mordred Starfallen has died. Mordred Starfallen II has joined the council. Also, thank you for the health check. I'll take a sip of water. Well, okay. Um, change of plans. Let's, uh, let's strengthen our military. <laughs> Yeah, your military isn't that strong. It's weaker than ours. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Plus 600 treasury if the nobles vote for the selected option. If the nobles vote otherwise, minus 200 treasury. Interesting. Swinging votes. That's interesting. Yeah. I know I'm going to get rid of anonymous voting because it doesn't do much. Um... <laughs> the real challenge is game of drawing Luna before she does. Let's do the rest of the stretch. Look away for 10 seconds. Rest of the health check, I mean. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pretty soon, I'm gonna need to do a water break too because I'm running out. Actually, we might do that after I've chosen this and after you guys go and vote for your things. Um, I just realized the partitions can rebel. Yeah, that oh, that yeah. is the that is the worrying thing. Then again, I'm not sure if they're gonna win yeah, that because like our the, military is just really really bad. Yeah, like the chiefs yeah, would wipe the floor with them, and also probably the spider military. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> the spider military. Um, the arachno troops. In mm -hmm. Most terrifying things on a bloody planet. <laughs> I'll do this uh, one. Yeah, we have two guys on the verge of rebellion. 
which the is counts are loyal. The counts are loyal-ish. <laughs> Panic in the council, famine, refugee crisis. I really need to get a, a do a water break. So I guess you guys can sit on this and think about it. Uh, I'll be right back. I'll be gone for three minutes. There will be ads in the meantime, so you don't have to deal with them for a while. And then I come back to my kingdom either being on fire or not. So we'll find out in a moment. Some water as well. <laughs> yeah, go do that. Okay, so what happens if stability hits zero in this game? I I'm more wondering what happens if uh two regions rebel at the same time. That is a very good question. I wonder if we can team up. <laughs> I noticed I noticed so like all funny. Of our, well, I noticed all of our goals are going down way too quickly, so I was like, what if we could all just rebel? Mm -hmm. Don't need the goals at that point. <laughs> Wait, we can both do it right now. Oh my god, rebel, rebel. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Like, well, mm. You've got four votes. Come on, the north, the north. Everyone put rebel. Everyone put rebel. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Please. I want to see what happens with this. <laughs> Luna's going to kill us. She I mean, like... I'm, I'm pretty sure if it comes down to, like, um... The two Wait. regions duking it out in the end after the rebellion, then then you will win. But also, I'm really interested in seeing what happens. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> We've, both... We've both done it. It's <laughs> oh, gonna be hilarious. Um, the queen does have no honor guards. That's really true. Hi, Vizzy. Do you want to look at the bottom right corner of the gameplay? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm seeing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, well, we can rebel. Uh, we can rebel. We we just we might not win, but we can start something. <laughs> I mean, we can like, have. We, we've cemented it. It's happening. <laughs> we'll we'll lose, but before we do, we will cause trouble. Take as many down with you as possible. <laughs> We have dragons in force. Yes, we do. I wish I could assist you all. Still in church. You're too loyal. Ooh. No, I'm quite rebellious myself, just in a very different way. I care not for the monarch, just for the throne. I see, I see. Besides, I need to understand these new steeds of ours. Have you seen them? No, and I don't want to. <laughs> oh, what a shame. It's okay, we'll get some trebuchets, some like more <laughs> things. Throw fire at you until they die. Oh, Why? no, no, well, 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 you misunderstand my intentions here. I'm very, very sure that this is not a wise plan. I am aware of that. The thing is, I find it very entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can still enjoy the game. Ah, oh, Luna's not... back. Uh... Hi. So... Hi. So every dick is on fire. You you left the screen. <laughs> you, you, you gave chat the whole time to choose to rebel. Yeah. And you, you expect them to not choose to rebel. Yeah, you know, I should have probably thought about it. And hello, Yamako. Yes, if you type in exclamation mark join, you can still join. Um, yeah, you know, <laughs> I guess I should have expected that, but I also really needed some more water. You're Let's coming see. at a very interesting time in yeah. the kingdom. Yeah. Panic I'm in the council. Your Majesty, I bring bad news from the East. We are receiving reports of, um... I'm sure your news can wait. I bring urgent tides for the North that demand the Monarch's attention at Yens. It's a cool outfit, too. I do like that one. <laughs> wait your turn, you ignorant dolt! Oh, dear. 
Why don't you settle your quarrel outside? Meanwhile, I have news from the coast that really is urgent. I can just tell everyone to shut up. <laughs> but I think I need to, like, maybe unravel some people. <laughs> now, now, Good. one at a time. The Eastern Council corrupt, your majesty. Judges are letting off the vilest criminals in return for the slightest bit of coin. So, hello, hello, Miss Morning. Yes, thank you. Birthday of peace. <laughs> I own the game and build my house. Like, yeah, you make you make yourself look really good. <laughs> that all by all eggs horn. The north is increase, increase, increasingly lawless. Your greatness. Some chiefs are taking advantage to claim themselves independent of your rule. Oh dear. Gasp. My news is worse still. The industries of the coast are in grave danger. The workers are striking, they demand fewer hours and higher pay. <laughs> we have corrupt courts. People are just declaring their own kingdoms. They demand workers, right? They're unionizing. <laughs> Cold. The air and water flowing. <laughs> All these problems have arisen because the kingdom is increasingly unstable, your majesty. Something must be done. Maybe I overdid it on the instability part. Agreed, make sure these issues are dealt with, my chancellor. Uh, what do you suggest? Unfortunately, we like the resources to tackle all these problems as once, partially because you try to flirt <laughs> with a bard with money. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't heard of her in a while. To prioritize. Yeah, she's long gone, my queen. <laughs> um Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you guys like money? No, I'm going to send you to go get the Eastern Courts because they're not the ones rebelling against you. Okay, but money? I don't care about your money, I'm going to take your head again. No! <laughs> I'm voting C. Yep. No, no you help. I will, I will not vote B. And I hope that you'll remember that, Martin. Thank you. I will remember this, don't you? There's a reason why I'm not voting for you either, because we're both rebelling. <laughs> <laughs> well, dang. I am curious to see this come through. The corrupt Eastern judges are stubborn. When you try to remove them from their posts, they retaliate by enforcing all the forgotten, old forgotten laws that everyone had agreed to ignore. Suddenly, merchants are legally required to wear blindfolds on weekends, and every coin must be passed in the nose of a cat before it's spent. Trade grinds to a halt. No, not the trade! Once the stupid old laws are repealed, you enact least, or at least, less of it. Oh you really boy. should have vetoed that. <laughs> yeah. The crisis in the east has been squashed, making the kingdom as a whole slightly more stable, but the problems of other regions feel that but the nobles of the other regions feel that you're ignoring their problems. Oh I boy. Mean, this was a stupid decision, but I do appreciate it. Hey, listen, nobody said this was going to be easy. Nobody warned me about this. I mean, your father did. He told you... you yeah, my father did. Actually, one person warned me. I just noticed something. Hello, your majesty. I've traveled all the way from the coast to beg you to do something about the price of grain. I can't afford to feed my family. A day of back-breaking work isn't enough to, do, to, to buy a day's worth of bread. She's right. Um, the grain price in the coast is beyond all control. Greedy merchants rake in profit while the common folk starve. Seems chat really wants to rebel. That would honestly be really funny. I'm on board with raising our defiance as well to have three rebellions all at once. So what? 
What would I even do about that? The coast actually needs one more Perish. person to rebel. <laughs> because stability went up, the coast needs one more person to rebel. It's on four out of five. Oh no. So if you need one more what? You need one more person to vote because the stability went up, so you need more people to vote to be able to rebel. Uh, you, want, oh. you went from a four out of four to four out of five now, so you need one more person. Or we need to decrease the stability quickly. Mm -hmm. And I see two options that decrease stability. Yeah. <laughs> and one that defunds the queen. <laughs> oh, that's okay, right. vote me, folks. Okay, but how about importing grain from the east? No? <laughs> no, nope, importing grain from the east or like putting a price of the a cap on the price we of grain. We shall not give any of our turnips. Also, hello, elusive Pat Patridge. Good afternoon. Hey, elusive. Good be yeah, oh, wow. there. Oh, that is so wow. <laughs> well then. Sorry, Luna. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it didn't register the first time. The coast is in your debt, your majesty. The kingdom's coffers open and a tide of gold floods in the pockets of coastal merchants. Grain prices plunge and stocks of grain run low. Supply no longer meets demand. Some peasants can feed their families now, but others are starving worse than ever. Oh boy. So can I fix anything? Oh, uh, if you oh. think spider, spider, the spider <laughs> what kind of voice do you want me to do? Do you want me to do like a spider voice? No, we know where they're coming from. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we know the source of the giant spiders. <laughs> the coast is experiencing a terrible famine, your majesty, and a steady trickle of refugees have been pouring into the east. Yes, it's a terrible tragedy. They are looking for food and steady work, but finding neither, they have turned to begging. The streets of the eastern cities are crowded with coastal vagrants. Well, I'm sorry that my suffering people are clogging up the precious eastern streets. They need help, not judgment. But will the council give it? Yeah, are you good, Martin? Yeah, I'm yeah, good. <laughs> okay. I am fine, don't you I worry. I hope my voice acting is not too good. I did have a little shiver, but like, it's okay. It's not enough to like, trigger like, me right It's not an actual spider. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just a dumbass with a beard. Okay, so... You can Holy shit. Here, have a have a look see on who everyone is. It should like show in your Welcome little to the experience will. No, not well, Martin. Yep. I'm feeling it now. <laughs> yeah, you see. <laughs> Yamanko, it seems you are one of the chiefs. For Scotland. <laughs> we don't have enough money for that one uh oh i see another way to decrease your stability again <laughs> uh wait is there a way to make us more defiant guys is there any of these that are gonna make the um, i the don't counts be more think angry so all of these are I bad think d might I don't really want to do that, though. You have money to spare. How about we make her gamble, chat? Yeah, the money one is B. D is not the money one. D is not money. B is money. You know, it's fine. Oh, it's bread. Give me, give me the money. B is you money. money? If, you, if you take the money, the queen is almost bankrupt. Yeah, you can bankrupt me. <laughs> Go. I really don't want to hand out bread. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't have any bodyguards, you guys. Do not worry. <laughs> Simply come to the east. We have a I... new steed to introduce oh. you to. Oh, oh, it's tied at seven. See, I think oh. this is going to kill me. Um, I mean, you can not try that it. Bad. 
You you, you guys gamble. want me to risk? You, you... Gamble, gamble, gamble. All right. Gamble. We're gonna risk dying. If she succeeds, <laughs> it's gonna be we're gonna eat shit. <laughs> nope. It failed. You travel to Rudgard, the biggest city in the east, and spend the afternoon handing out loaves of coastal, handing out loaves to coastal refugees. Unfortunately, as the starving peasants crowd around you with hands outstretched, you're very vulnerable. They begin tearing at your robes, wailing and pleading. Yeah, and I don't have bodyguards. Oh. Give us bread! More bread! Where are you hiding it? The peasants swamp you, swamp you like a rising tide, scratching and clawing. One of them snatches your crown from your head. You leap into your royal carriage and make a speedy getaway as stone hail the carriage roof. Oh, I live? Hey, you survived! Yeah. The crown is expensive to replace, and stories of your hum humiliation circulate far and wide. Oh, but I lived! And she did spend money. And I did end up spending money. I did. This isn't looking good for me. You definitely threw your kingdom into chaos. Yeah. You set I... out with a goal and you achieved it. <laughs> yeah, I achieved it a little too well. <laughs> <laughs> Up in the north, Chief Silver is hosting a grand feast at their clan hall. Bad news, the spy master's still watching us like a shepherd watching sheep. But we only sheep, we're wolves. <laughs> Aye, but for now, let's continue to bar and look fluffy. <laughs> I love Aww, that is I mean, great. Martin is well suited for that. <laughs> the chief's aim is to raise stability to five or more. No, it isn't. We're rebelling. Anchored a few miles from the sunny coast, Lord Patrician Late Lee has invited his closest confidants aboard his yacht. What I a like bloody disaster for here. We are clashing with the monarch on a daily basis. The spy master will never trust us at this rate. Ugh. How goes the search for look alike? Not well. The best I found is a peasant with the wong shaped nose, the wong colored eyes, and the wooden leg. Yeah, the wooden leg I think would like be noticeable. Well, the queen was in an accident recently. <laughs> Don't let that discourage you. Keep searching. Our doppelganger is out there. I'm sure of it. The patrician's aim is to lower their divines to four or less. Yeah, mm, about, that. about that. I don't think we're gonna do that. <sighs> so... The only ones going forth on their scheming is the uh, Counts and, uh... Yeah. Oh. We got Wait, some I rebellion. Read... Oh, I didn't get to read it. It said at the top how we earned rebellion points and I missed it. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize that. There was a message at the top. I can... Hold on a minute. I know how to get it. I can do a clip and I can go can back you, and read can it. You show? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try and find it real quick. Oh, we have uses for spiders, opening strike, and rebellion! Exclamation mark. Rebellion. Let, let's go to the rebellion. Maybe it'll tell us more there. Oh, everything is on fire. <laughs> remember how I talked about flames licking up? Yeah, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Funny how the only one that isn't rebelling is you. <laughs> it says well, someone victory. had. Hmm? Sorry. You first. Uh, it says victory points are earned for events. If the rebels are victorious, the monarch is overthrown. So events will pop up where we can earn points. Interesting. And At there's two of us, so... <laughs> oh boy. Yee. At long last, the patricians have reached their boiling point. You are confronted in your throne room by Lord Patrician Seb Sebek. His smile gleaming in the life that brace years. Oh boy. <laughs> My mods are turning against me. <laughs> The patricians of the coast will bring you down, pretender to the throne. We will rise up and fight for Quinta, the true queen. Revolution? Yeah, it looks to be a revolution. Yeah. <laughs> this is a formal declaration of war. The next time we see each other will be on the battlefield. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can Defiance even go any higher? <laughs> yeah, no. 
I, know if it can. I guess I'll yeah, lower I authority because I'm scared what will happen if I lower my stability anymore. Yeah. I hear love can bloom there. <laughs> Maybe I'll finally fight my pirate queen. <laughs> Defiance can't go higher. There will be many heads on spikes before this war is over. Mine will not be among them. Is it a rule? Is no, a your highness. It's a revolution. <laughs> Lord Patrician Sam back strides from your throne room without looking back. I didn't expect them to be so bold uh, them to move so boldly, your majesty. So how how are our odds? Well, we're badly outnumbered. Your hopes are slim. How did it get to this? Neither of the rebellion is Lord Petition's cyn <laughs> cynical alchemist. As reason for the uprising, he's citing your past transgressions, mainly your calamitous disagreement with half-moral over an enti entitled chief. Yeah, yeah that, that did it. That actually was the case. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's too late to apologize. <laughs> it's too, too late. late now to say I sorry. Love that. I love that the other one is also urged to murder rising. Yeah. Hmm, the both of these are very funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. Isn't too late to apologize. It is. Now's the time for swords, not words. So, this is I it. I hate that they are not rhyming. Civil War. I hate that. That's right, Your Majesty. The kingdom is divided. There will be a lot of death and suffering before all this is over. Our military is doing your badly outnumbered. Looks like I worried about nothing. You're bigger pushover than I thought. Well, I, it might be because the military of the chiefs is at seven. Our military is at three. I do like the marshal's coat too. I can't wait. I'll dig out the trebuchets. <clears throat> and I. Yeah, our military is at ten. Yeah. yeah. I think this is gonna be the Chiefs. Uh -oh. oh, they're teaming oh, up! No. Oh no! Uh. <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> oh, I'm screwed. I'm... I'm... We My shall simply be here. My dear Chiefs of the North, thank you for joining us in our righteous war against the tyrant Monarch Luna. Oh boy. Hey, it's no trouble. Point us in the right direction and we'll start chopping off heads. Not again! <laughs> All in good time, my friend. First, you must decide where to direct your opening strike. We can launch a preemptive strike against the Counts to cripple their military capabilities. The fucking spiders! Yeah, you have you to fight the spiders. You're welcome to have us join you. <laughs> If we suspect the Counts may join our cause, we can call them to war. They'll be more likely to join us if the Monarch's authority is low. Let well, us join? Get... Well, yeah, considering it's down. two! Like join? <laughs> oh, I think oh well, no, everyone is rebelling against me! To join. We have the French on our side. Oh, I am so screwed. I am up for seeing these beauties. <laughs> the sound of clicking from a war warehouse. <laughs> In action. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I am so screwed. <laughs> yes. Where's my pirate girlfriend? <laughs> Take me away from this. Or, finally, we could send off an assassin to nip this in the bud. Dishonorable, of course, but convenient. No, don't assassin me. <laughs> um. Come on, let the Counts I join! <laughs> At least let the I Counts join! You know, I, I say, oh, let us... Let us, let us <laughs> join, join, we'll be, join the, we'll the... Let's go! Spiders they, for the they revolution! They can also have some fun! Yeah. 70% chance for it to work, and I really hope it works. <laughs> it, it would be bar. very funny. <laughs> the Bard girlfriend has been very, very quiet. Yeah! I think she abandoned me. I think this girlfriend situation might have been one-sided. <laughs> Come on. Yes! The chief smuggles a secret message to the counts. 
Uh, Ooh. Signified counts. Too long have you suffered under the monarch's oppression? You Easterners are proud people. Why are you putting up with this tyrant? Join us. She speaks truly. Why did we never think of things this way? <laughs> this is what you get for not marrying my beautiful daughter. I guess mistakes might have been made. <laughs> you disagreed with the French daughter. And the immediate consequence <laughs> is the bad revolution. Across your entire oh, oh, kingdom. The, oh, the defiance is now high enough. Definitely. Yeah. Alicia yeah. really was like, okay, I will make everyone revolt. <laughs> Chat, be ready to revolt on my word. You might want to type and... exclamation mark revel already. Uh, not yet. They can't do it yet. Oh, no. A spider, save me. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Your only hope is spiders. Greetings, Aww. your majesty. I was the fella tasked with looking after the spider eggs. And I'm pleased to say they've grown up to be nice, plump, young specimens. Big as a house cat and near as tame. Wonderful. <laughs> you successfully domesticated them. Oh, sure. They're like little lambs. I like to tuck them <laughs> no. into bed with me and let them scurry all over. No, 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 no. Aww. <laughs> the wife complains, but I tell her not to worry. They're harmless. If you breathe through your nose. Nope, 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 I suppose this means we should decide what to actually do with these damn spiders. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, tame as a house gun? That's not tame at all. Yeah, that's also. <laughs> Train them as steeds. Chat. Oh, I can lower your defiance. So we need to vote for B. I mean... See, the only thing is, Your do I... Your defiance will not go under four, right? Like, even with one of those. And we need four for rebelling? Yes. Really? You... Is it so low right now? I thought you needed six you, for rebelling. You need, you need to have at least uh, authority and stability combined, as far as I know. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, her... Like, that, that's what oh, the yeah. thing earlier said. I well, think I case, remember. I... You'll need but three for rebellion. But either way, we can, we can vote, yeah, we'll vote fine. No, 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 no. let's vote nice. A then. Okay. Because then thematically, there are also Steed. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't... I really want that, huh? I don't, I don't think I want, want Spider Come Steed. Come Luna, the fun, though. <laughs> I'm already allowing you to potentially milk them for venom. No Spider Steeds. I don't want to face all Spider Steeds. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no Spider no. Steeds. I'm already letting well, you go for B. We're gonna have to go for C then, right? I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't nah, really matter. Nah, like we could get venomous blades. Oops, I, I wrote V2. That's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, because uh, even if it raises a forty, as long as it doesn't raise by two, we should be fine. Either way, I think I'm screwed. Uh, I just at okay, least yeah. won't have to deal with the giant spider attacking me. That. that that's all I want. I don't want to be eaten by a giant about spider. That. I mean, it can still attack you, like yeah, through through like venom. You order the spiders to send back to the farms and regular milk for their venom. The poison is a formidable pesticide. It also has cumulative effects in micro doses, as well as obviously military applications in macro doses. Hey, their farming is great, and their military is now capable. Unfortunately, they are also going to rebel against me soon. You order your spy master to hoard as many bottles as she can. Soon everyone knows that the monarch has unlimited access to particularly deadly poison, and they're much less likely to criticize you at dinner. <laughs> Yay! Ah. Okay. Ah, well. Uh, is okay, there anything that can see. lower... make our defiance higher? No? Do we have anything mm. that can lower the stability and stuff? Yeah, and you... No, nothing we would I mean, like. Something can increase my military, which should help. Yeah, like... Please, no. I mean, if anything, maybe... I'm gonna fund mine. I'm gonna increase military. 
Oh boy. D a little bit. The Lord of the Faith in the Church? Yes. I think A and D are our best bets. <laughs> I'm so sorry yeah. when I listened to the 3v1. Yeah, I mean, it always was, but... No, you had us on your side until you took away our steeds. You, I didn't have you on my side anymore before then. <laughs> Let's be a, real. You had a path. You had a path. No. You had the spiders on your side. No, I did not. You guys were going to rebel either way. Come on. Don't lie to me. You had a coin toss. <laughs> no, I didn't. It was all reliant on if they could be mounts or not. The fact that your odds is the ridge is a different map. <laughs> yeah. Let's continue to my rebellion report. <clears throat> the kingdom is in rebellion. The first side to earn five victory points will win. Victory points are earned through events. If the re rebels are victorious, the monarch is overthrown. And everyone is on the verge of... Like, you're on the verge of rebellion and the other two are rebelling. And you still did me... I know, yeah, yeah, I know. I know the mistake I made. Okay. <laughs> Counts. Yeah. Rebel. Rebel. Let's, uh... When Dizzy plays this, she can get him back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Along the coastal border, countless flags flap in the sea breeze. Warships crowd the harbors. Unloading hordes of soldiers, the patrician troops are gathering in vast numbers. Oh, ninth above. Think of the expense. Each of these soldiers is another mouth to feed, and it's coming from our pockets. <laughs> Let's march them off as quick as possible, please. Yes, true patrician. But think of the money it'll cost. We are risking more than our profits in this war. Our necks are on the line, so we'd better be smart about it. And on that subject... I've considered several proposals to further bolster our army for the trails ahead. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Um, We have trade enough. We could probably go for A without a problem. Yeah. I'd say let's go for A. C, C is also fine, but... Man, let's... Yeah. All of this is bad for me. Oh, we'll also lower the trade, which is good against the crown. Yeah, I don't I don't think I have much of a chance anymore. Like If you somehow crawl your way out of this. If I somehow magic an air out of nothing. If you actually win this, it'd be very impressive. I would be impressed with me too. <laughs> These Ashmedean mercenaries come highly recommended, but can we really absorb the cost? The price is extortionate. When someone the think of the money, what money? <laughs> of course we can. Mary this is the price of <laughs> I don't think I can anymore. <laughs> this is the price of victory, blah blah blah. When the Ashmedian mercenaries arrive in the coasts, it becomes apparent how different their customs are from the locals. They pray to Kaldov. Called Dovaga, the machine gold, in an attempt to remind him that the world exists. They claim their swords are alive and will grow angry if she does for too long. They bait every single day. But they're perfectly capable of enacting hideous violence in exchange for money. And that's all the patricians need from them. <laughs> ha. Spiders are literally leading our army. <laughs> Glory awaits, kobolds. Our forces will soon ma march across the river Velton in the east. After that, it's clear road to the capital. <laughs> that river crossing is a dangerous time for any army. We should do something unexpected. Build rafts downstream and float our troops across. Thank you for the raid, Tsukino. Hello, hello, welcome in. My name is Luna, I'm a variety streamer, and today is my birthday stream. <laughs> so okay. we are killing her! Yeah! Yes! They are rebelling against me. I'm <laughs> I'm in a terrible position. <laughs> if you have to raid and run because you need to eat, sleep, or do other things, then please go take care of yourself. But if you can stay, I'd love to have you here. It's been a great birthday stream. I've been been very blessed. <laughs> um 
If you want to also be able to vote, type exclamation mark join uh, space and then your preferred pronouns. Um, and you'll be sorted into one of the three regions. Nuna, hi everyone, I'm about to die. Yes, exactly. <laughs> By the old gods, what cowardice is this? If we take the main bridge and fortify it, we'll control half the east. Aye, if. I hey, just caution. Have you not heard about the spiders? <laughs> <laughs> I thought of monarchs winning, winning, yeah. It is possible for the monarchs to win. I have won before. Now, is it common? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> very, very rare. Uh... I think we can it's capture both the main bridge, guys. Let's do B. Vote for B. You don't even need to do that. I mean, you could raise my authority by... Nope. You know, you, know, you, you could. <laughs> yes, kindly do not do that. Our rebellion is flimsy as is. Oh, boy. We are slow creatures at times. <laughs> Well, there goes our bridge, I think. Maybe. Maybe they roll bad. Maybe. percent chance, it depends. And it depends whose luck is worse. <laughs> the cheese mount of furious assault on the bridge is narrow enough to create a pinch point, negating any numbers advantage. This will come down to which side has the fiercest warriors. Well, if there are spiders. <laughs> the answer, of course, is the chiefs. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine there's like some spectacle fighting, like some some counts run up, they do some flashy maneuvers and then back off. I am totally we fighting right now. Five. We get two out of five victory points for oh. that one thing. Oh no. Holy shit. By day's end, the bridge's flag zones are slick with blood, but it's been captured and fortified by the northern troops. The chiefs now control half the east. What will happen? Like if the Count's also a rebel, will I just lose? Possibly. I think, need, I think we still need to get the points, so you have a chance to increase your 40 in stability, but... Vast armies darken the landscape like the shadows oh. of clouds. Flags are flying, drums are pounding the rhythm with the marching of boots. The kingdom is gripped with civil war. Yes, oh, I will just lose if they all rebel. Time spent in the safety of your palace, poring over a giant map with your marshal. Your Majesty, the army of the coast is trying to link up with the armies in the north. If we take them both on at once, we're in real trouble. I think we're already in real trouble. Our only hope is the count. <laughs> oh, no. If armies at once, they'd be outnumbered. But perhaps they can take on the rebel armies by surprising... Surprise before the two joined forces. <laughs> Quick, and we must use the counts against them before they decide to rebel as well. <laughs> See, it's that thing that's going to cause a rebellion. I, they are already rebelling next season. They're they're no longer on my side. We have no choice but to strike one before the other, uh, or the other before it's too late. What are your orders, Your Majesty? Going to raid on Lurkwine, try to figure out how to get rid of these hiccups. Good luck, Tsukino. Thank you again so much for stopping by. Hmm. My hmm. counts. So I don't think they'll win this. But well, maybe yeah. if I can weaken both at once. I don't know which is the like. Hmm. Maybe the coastal army, because they have more of a chance against that. How doth your new crown suit you? Uh, it's kind of flimsy. Um... It looks it. Very well, your majesty. I'll relay your order to the commander in the field. Hopefully they do as they're told. God knows treachery can thrive on a battlefield. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, about that. Defy <laughs> the order, send a suit. Okay, so hang <laughs> back. Nice. Yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> they they can yeah hmm appreciate it that's uh i didn't even <laughs> well then 
How nice that people can vote. Yeah, how nice that they can vote to just do nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. You guys aren't even officially rebelling yet. <laughs> no, Treachery is in our nature, darling. Did you forget <laughs> that? How dare you use your pre-thought pre, pre of line. <laughs> <laughs> The whole city holds its breath. You stew in your palace, waiting anxiously for your marshal's return. Finally, she bursts into your throne room. Those damn cowards, cravens, treacherous, yellow-bellied, li lily-livered, chicken-hearted bastards. Ooh, that's a new one. So, how did the battle go? It wasn't a damn battle. Instead of engaging the enemy, the council told the army to just hang back and do nothing. Oh, we've actually just got. You've already just you. won. They, they, the east will like officially lose because they didn't even get Dang to the rebellion part. No, that was the one thing I was worried about. What? But why? Scratch the arses while the entire coastal army walks on by. I have a mix of cowardice, self-insert, and lack of confidence in your abilities. I assume. They're heading their beds and waiting to see who comes out on top. These for still join? Mm -mm. Bastards. Well, new to the Council of Nobles, the Cobalt was immediately drawn to the North's Rebellion and hoped that it would end in the co incompetent <laughs> current monarchy. Clearly, the North has the better candidate for leadership. I mean, nary half time to waste. Nay, by Cobalt eyes, we must remove this irresponsible tyrant at once. <laughs> We're defenseless now, your majesty. The armies and the petitions and the chiefs will be camping outside the city walls in a matter of weeks. If we want to see the year's end, we must build up fortifications, stockpile food, train up citizens, militia. It's time to pray to the knife, your majesty, because apart from him, we're on our own. I mean, I've been hedging my bets on, on the night from the start, and I think I might have made a mistake in that. <laughs> Hopefully we just rebel... A count rides to a remote, unremarkable spot of moorland soon, and another joins him. Unfortunately, my peasants are getting dreadfully devout. We're, we're in no state to make a move against the monarch. It's far too dangerous, In the and uh, the High Inquisitor will pause as soon as we do anything. Yeah, they, they talk over their scheme and then they're just like, okay, so rebellion? Yeah, rebellion. Rally the spiders. I no loyal regions, nobody to tax. <laughs> Whoops. The yes, Patricians make 500 belts selling snake oil that we they claim curse Crowfula. <laughs> so they're all rebelling. Do I now immediately loot? Yeah, yeah. Your marshal staggers into the throne room, stinking of booze. She gives you a lopsided grin. Marshal! Oh no! I held the news. Line to both, you're drunk! No, just just a little Denine courage is all. <laughs> Can't just say what that they're joining the rebellion against your majesty. Ah, lovely. All three regions now turned on you. Do you know what that means? No. It means we are royally, no pun intended, screwed. The capital garrison couldn't take on one of the regions single-handedly, let alone three. I just got an achievement for that. Are you the? Yeah. Am I the baddie? <laughs> Have Did all you get the... the guillotine. <laughs> Wait a minute. Get the guillotine. Can I just say, if I called this right, and the marshal is the assassin that kills you? <laughs> <laughs> if I called that at the beginning, it's gonna be funny. It will be very funny. The marshal's like, you know, I'm joining them, Shank. Historically, the monarch of the kingdom has only survived by playing the regions against each other. Jet them all in common cause. They're hatred to you. Well, it's no mean feat. Yeah. Oops, I played myself. I did manage to piss everyone off. You did want this. Not in this this degree. 
You're absolutely unmatched when it comes to pissing people <laughs> off your majesty. A world beater. <laughs> it's nice to know I'm good at something. <laughs> oh, there's still hope. There must be. Consider this my resignation. There's no fun in unwinnable war. Damn. Stab. Oh no, no stab. She strides out of the throne room without looking back. Sure enough, within a few days, the Counts have turned up to support the rebel forces, already laying siege to the capital. Against such overwhelming numbers, your walls can't hold, the ladders go up, and the enemy's soldiers pour in. As dawn rises, Lord Patricia and cynical alchemist strolls into the throne room, backed by soldiers from all across the kingdom. Soldiers from the coast, knights from the east, and warriors from the north. And victory points can't go higher. <laughs> uh, so, you won. Looks like I did. You made it pretty easy. Well damn. With a triumphant smirk, Lord Patrician cynical alchemist makes a sharp gesture. The coastal soldiers step forward, swords at the ready. I genuinely wish we could have settled this peacefully. War is bad for business. But since you're so unreasonable, I'll be more most satisfied to watch you die. I walk away from a bitch and already being attacked. Yeah. <laughs> Make it dance mode for situations like these. <laughs> we do have a dance mode, but that's me dancing. I guess I'll fight. I mean, I don't want to brace myself and turning and running is just gonna, like... Maybe I can get one punch in. Oh yeah, everyone is rebelling. Empty hands can do little against armor and swords. You're given a vicious beating and the fight drains out of you. Instead of killing you, the soldiers seize you and drag you down into your own dungeons. Your ordeal isn't over. Oh no, they're not even <laughs> granting me swift ends. It's time for something we in the East call... barreling. <laughs> oh no, not again! <laughs> <laughs> While imprisoned in your tiny cell, you hear the guards gossiping. Apparently the chiefs, counts and patricians are already fighting over your vacated throne. Do this. Uh, I'll do it. The patricians and the counts are the strongest richest and have the most support from the church, so the throne will go to one of them. After a week of rotting your own dungeon, you're marched all out onto a public platform, geared at by thousands of peasants. You cringe into a barrage of rotten fruit and fresh dung. You can see Lord Patrician Cynical Alchemist sitting in the front row, grinning. The rebels have won. The capital has been taken. You are a former monarch. Authority is now spineless. They took my spine! Oh, my <laughs> the executioner waits silently, holding an axe bigger than you. If you have any last words, now's the time. Not again. <laughs> and well, I'll be you heading off then. <laughs> that is, I will respect you. <laughs> yeah, I have to go out on the pun. <laughs> you place your head on the block. The executioner lifts his massive axe. Wait, she made a really good pun! <laughs> Wait, you suddenly thought of much better last words. You turn to the executioner to tell him, but the axe is already falling. Tonk! Your head bounces into Lord Patrician's cynical alchemist lap, and your reign comes to a gruesome end. Again. <laughs> oh, you guys need to vote who's gonna be the successor. Am I not there? Oh, I mean, come on. Apparently you weren't rich or faithful enough. Guys, vote. Who's gonna be the successor? Fine, I'm Let's... getting it to the coast. Oh, I can't vote. Oh, no, it's you can. One people. Wait, no, I can't. You can. <laughs> Why? A or B? Oh, it's B. Okay, yeah, there we go. I got you. Wait, does Luna have to decide who wait? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't think I could. I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Funny. The next monarch is Quinta. It would have been so funny if the count had been the one. <laughs> it would have been. <laughs> we came in last minute. Nah, we had an alliance as soon as the rebellion started. I'm voting for Tankel. <laughs> After fair. the entire kingdom rose against them, monarch Luna was dragged out of the palace and decapitated in the city square. The counts joined the rebellion at the last minute, either finally fed up with the monarch or perhaps desperate to be on the winning side. The chiefs joined the rebellion alongside the patricians, but nobody considered them a true contender for the crown. 
The patricians launched a rebellion that toppled the monarch and devastated the kingdom. In the aftermath, nobody could stop them from taking the throne, and Quinta was crowned to half-hearted cheers from the traumatized common folk. Oh no. So, uh, I lost it even shorter this time. Luna the unready. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, but as soon as you started throwing everyone in the chaos, I was like, can we? Can we all rebel? <laughs> it is funny to have everyone rebelling. I lurk it now. It's weird that the did chiefs weren't in the last what? choice. You did not get the Viva la Revolution. I got, uh, am I the body? All regions of the kingdom rose in rebellion. 3.1% per percent of players have this achievement. Yeah, it's oh. a hidden one. Because you also got ready to kingle, you chose to remain single without your reign. Yeah. Without your reign. Oh and toot toot! <laughs> toot toot! Stone we Hill Sworn you heralds hard. your downfall in Chief Hornblower's scheme. Yep, that's the one. We don't have a lot of time left, but we could continue the game and then I will... I think play as... Yeah, I will play as Queen Kin Quinta. Okay! Wanna... Wanna see what happens? Sure! Yeah. Yeah. I will also say, how many percent do you think of players have attended your coronation? I don't know. Will that be that you attend your own? Yeah. You attended your coronation. I mean, anyone who's played, so like 70% or something? Nope. Any other nope. guesses? Also, don't forget to join Fizzy. I'm gonna guess like ninety percent. It's gotta be high. Nope. Everyone ready? Because then we're gonna begin. Because we have yeah. a little less than an it's, hour left. It's forty-three point seven. Huh. Oh, interesting. Wow. Same. Interest. Oh, oh my oh. god, you have no food. So wait, spiders? <laughs> Spider acid is now in play. I'm not sure if that if that I think that might reset, but like these numbers will be shifting. The interesting thing is that we don't have any defiance because the current monarch is from us. Yeah, that is also oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, that's good to know. Your Majesty, you may have won the throne from Monarch Luna. But you must still answer to the council. As is tradition, they will decide what happens at your coronation. Oh, hey, I can... I can actually... <laughs> Should I get changed into my waterproof robes and they learn? <laughs> oh, that is, that is fun. It may be for the best, your majesty. Shall we call the nobles in? Um, -di 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 -da. I don't think I need to uh, worry about, but you know, a religious. F I'm fine with that, but I, I think I know what's gonna happen. Grab the queen by the scruff and throw her in the pond. Wee! <laughs> yeah. It is funny that they mention it so they can learn from it. I guess that is the upside of continuing, like, the reign. The only thing is that I'm not named after me anymore. Mm. The troops would make, st like, story sense, but it's tradition. Yeah, it's tradition. I have waterproof robes. I am prepared this time. As Mordred says, for tradition. <laughs> it is decided the queen will be thrown in the river. And so it begins. <laughs> I love the, the, the monarch being like, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> then it will pick you up and carry you into the Dreadwater River, hurling you into the shallow water with a cheer. When you climb back up the bank, soaking wet, the Chancellor steps forward and plays the crown upon your head. Is it your imagination or some of the nobles stifling giggles? No, they most definitely are giggling. Maybe you can name your heir after yourself? Maybe, but previous times they just named it like that person and then second. So I think you can only be like yourself if you win and then you'll be the next 
person. If someone gets to the fifth, that's gotta be an achievement. Yeah, that would be very impressive. Hey, look, they, they are referencing what happened. I love that. <laughs> we did it. By the ninth, we had to pull some strings, but we got you that crown. Just as I said we would. Now, just remember to uphold your end of the deal. You're not really a queen, more like an employee of the patricians. Oh, lovely. I used to watch a game that went to current year. Dang. <laughs> what the coast wants, the coast gets. What if I govern for the good of the whole kingdom? What, 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 if, I, what if I govern for the good of the what whole if, kingdom? What if I'm the good guy? That would be completely against the spirit of our deal. We'd be forced to take drastic action. If the Petrosians just... rise up in rebellion a second time... Yeah. <laughs> They would now. straight up be the French at that point. <laughs> <laughs> now, introduce yourself to the rest of the council, but don't forget what I told you today. All right, all right. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, your highness. May you escape from the doom that befell your predecessor. That rings very different now. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck in the days ahead, your greatness. You'll need it dealing with us lot. Yeah, I know. I've seen it. What do you think? Will she be a good little queen and do as she's told? Too early to tell. But I have a bad feeling. We should have a backup plan, just in case. What if I had said, like, of course, you'll get anything? Oh no, we would still be distrustful. Yeah, probably. Tis nature. Your Majesty, the history books do not look kindly upon your usurpers. Unless, of course, they prove themselves worthy of the throne they have stolen. This is kind of cool. Yeah, I know, right? It's pretty cool that you can just continue like that. <laughs> Too bad I can't rename or like read like... I wish I could look like myself. <laughs> It'd be fine for governing the whole kingdom. Chiefs make for good entertainment, cheap labor. Cans are good for the exports of swamp gas. I mean... Streamlord. <laughs> If you had let us go wow. through with the doppelganger thing, that wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah, I wonder how that would have turned out. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Da, 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 da. Mm. da, 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 da. You know what? Last time I went for fate. Let's go faithful. Let's go faithful. The church will love you, I suspect, but will anyone else? I suggest over the next few years, you focus on improving the kingdom's overall faith as much as possible. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss, you, you know, the stuff. Yeah, we, we know. <laughs> Delphira of the Wanyaks dynasty, infamous for Formed cultist leans delicately on the podium, speaking in a melodious voice. My fellow counts, in ancient times the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false king Win Quinta wears the crown. Well, you guys helped and you usurp the last one. <laughs> All right. All right, counts. Oh, blood ritual. Oh no, mm. the highest far. Oh dear. I think this is what we do. I mean, that is interesting. It's not good for me, but it is interesting. Oh dear. Yeah. The Count's plan to summon an ancient famine demon that will devastate all other regions, paving a clear path to the throne. First, they must ensure the East can withstand the famine. To advance their scheme, the Counts must be the region with the highest farming season in for farming and forcing. Oh, okay. Well, they. Guess I need to raise farming of the other guys. Or destroy their farming. Or that. 
Sven of Crosswalking Kobold's clan, well-known Northern rascal, stands precariously on the longhouse crossbeam, droning as if in a trance. Chiefs of the North, we all know I should be on the throne, not this imposter Queen Quinta. How do we make that happen? Alright, we've got... <clears throat> Oh, you guys can do a doppelganger too. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go for B. Yeah, that one also sounds interesting. C we've already seen, so C is also gonna be really difficult when the, <laughs> when the uh, patricians have seven faith. Yeah. The chiefs plan to realize an ancient northern prophecy. Before the new king rises, the kingdom will be ruled by a mad tyrant. I mean, that could have been the last one, but... To advance their scheme, the chiefs must raise authority to five or more in two seasons. Okay, I need to be not too authoritative. What if it goes too low again? <laughs> yeah. A grip of the tank used quill on a hardwood desk, explaining in measured prose. How very cunning of us. Quinta now sits the throne, and the patricians are in charge. But the other regions will already be scheming to be depose her. De depose? Depose? Depose. D do we stay loyal to the new queen, or cut our losses and put me on the throne instead? Damn, we didn't even last a year. <laughs> oh, you can be loyalists. Oh. Hmm. What's your current thing? Ambition? My current ambition is to raise faith. You know what? That'll be interesting. We've never seen loyalists before. See, that becomes interesting because now it is actually a 2v2. Yeah. Very neat that you can do that. Yeah. Too bad you can't be loyalists before <laughs> I lose once. Voting to support that settles it then. Long live the queen. May she bring peace and prosperity to our new kingdom. But can we always? Uh, but we can always change our minds. If Quinta ever gets out of line, we can take up arms and get <laughs> rid. And get rid <laughs> her the old-fashioned way. That was Quinta Even in if the it's capital. A little costly. <laughs> It seems more balanced and this more fun. Yeah, it is pretty hard to be the monarch. <laughs> the patrician's goal is to aid the queen by countering the other region's schemes as much as they can. They will win the game if the queen produces an heir and completes her ambition. Oh, that's neat. However, if their defiance gets too high, they can still change their mind and rise up in rebellion. Hmm. I bet your heir will look like you. Why else would anyone continue the story? I don't know. Stop going. Timer set to 15 seconds and vote will automatically close it once the timer is over. And then the Royal Gamble. Let's try the Royal Gamble one. Hmm. My liege, is it surely a safe thing to gamble? No, but being a... Oh Aunt Vizzy would know about that. Okay, look, Japan <laughs> fucked with my brain, alright? Oh, we were talking about the boat thing, but... I, yeah, I was talking about the boat race when you lost all your money. Have, you see, Vizzy has, loses his money very often. that out of my memory. <laughs> Martin? Oh. As a tradition, each region offers a selection of elite guards. The chief with the the chiefs with the most famous warrior heroes, the counts knights of the order of the drowned rose, and the patri patricians patricians offer their greatest gladiators, champion of the arena. Also, please ignore the fact that I was drunk yesterday. <laughs> Hello, new queen. <laughs> <laughs> Think carefully, your majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to coin above all. I mean, there's only one logical 
choice. Of there, course, it? you'll be taking the gladiators, your majesty. None of the other options are half as muscly. I guess I'll make my decision. Wait your verdict with bated breath, your majesty. I think I need to take the coastal one so I don't have my new allies immediately turn on me. Unless I try and lower the defiance of the other guys. But I, I think I'd rather not piss off my, my allies immediately. I simply want make to make arrangements like rituals. <laughs> Yep. They gather behind the throne and begin oiling themselves up. Theaters. Hold on, I gotta find a gif. Printing press. Your August Majesty, a blacksmith in the coast has come up with some sort of printing contraption again. Again? We, we, we lost the last one in the fires. Here, but... Hmm. <laughs> Instead of relying on painstaking efforts of scribes, it produces a hundred copies of text an hour. Remarkable. Yes, your serene highness. Isn't technology wonderful? <clears throat> Don't you see how dangerous... Uh, hold on, is there a... It, no, I'm just gonna roll with it. <laughs> Don't you see how dangerous this is? Books should stay in the churches and university, or else commoners will start getting ideas. Like, unionize! <laughs> Do you want to see them unionize again? Um... I would like... the church to get the printing presses. I'm not opposed to that. Well... For the fates! Patricians, you're on my side this time! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You're supposed to vote B! I buggered up and thought I needed a 40 down, I voted the wrong bloody thing! <laughs> Whoops. No more people for B? No? No, we're <laughs> just going to hire an A, huh? That's the wrong. Well. You're a queen, do you think Alicia will side with you? I mean, I could have tried. You're going to regret this one day, your majesty. Ignorance is the only thing keeping the common folk in line. Oh dear. Nonsense. You're just jealous. You know, I might need to work on getting the defiance of the other guys lower too. <laughs> In the end, both are right. The East develops a thriving publishing industry, but as more and more books are printed, radical ideas start to spread. Oh, the trade went up. Ideas like, maybe peasants deserve rights, and should we even have a queen at all? Oh no, we unlock democracy. <laughs> Authority is now mocked. Alicia, what if your daughter shows up again? So... The authority is low, which is the opposite of what the chiefs want, but I think it might be a little too low. Yeah. Your Highness, I bring ill tidings from the north. Wildlife has gone berserk in rural areas. They're attacking villages and travelers along all across the region. Tell me more about these creatures. The great hulking beasts clearly twisted by magic. Some say they walk and talk like people. The northern warriors are afraid. They say the creatures are dark omens, a signal of a uh, sign of the end. Is he? Oh fuck. Um <laughs> Seventh Takers. What's got into these chiefs and what chiefs that they can't handle a few wild animals? The other regions have plenty of their own problems. Your Majesty, no one wants to march up to the frozen north for something like this. You're all as useful with nipples in the breastplate. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go with that. <laughs> Point of order, Your Highness. Though the church's presence in the north is minimal, we could provide shelter for those who need it. 
All will be welcome, whether they adhere to the true goal or not. It's the least we can do. Or if you can afford it, send a detachment of mercenaries who aren't afraid of a few wild bears. That should put an end to this crisis. Make a noise. H how? <laughs> what? A I don't know how I'm supposed I think that's to make damage this. Damage sounds. Oh, it's like the the zombies make a ooh, ooh oh, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, ah, oh, ah, bleh. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, that it could be one. <laughs> um, I am vetoing that. I would love to go for C. I would love to Patrician? go for C. Patricians? Yeah, yeah, sure. They yeah. are godly people, surely. Yeah. For the counts, it is. For the counts, it is That's better to go for uh, C because they want everyone else's thing to be farming to be low. Unfortunate, but fate. Yeah, look! Look at us. We're we're faithful. Yeah, we're, we're faith as heaven. We're we're very very faithful people. The chiefs aren't very active. <laughs> Even a chief voted for it. I, I guess we're just very right. convincing. <laughs> Mordred <laughs> turned on you. Is Mordred? Oh. We do need to raise the farming of like the patricians and the the chiefs and like lower the farming of the counts. <laughs> The Archbishops about instructs that. all churches across the north to open their doors to refugees fleeing the attacks. They are more than glad for the assistance. Over time, the beasts withdraw. The Northerners are grateful for the church's help, with many finding a new place in their hearts for the Nine Gold and his disciples. Hey! Now I just need to produce an heir in time to actually, like, win. But there is a thing for authority, I'm going to... Yeah, so, like, I don't mind authority going up a smidge. Like, we don't want it super high, but I also don't think having it tank would be good. Stability is also fine if it goes up. Um, Not sure if we should have the farming of the counts go up. Might want to try and stop that by having something else happen. Like having that authority go higher, like for the for the chiefs, the chiefs probably want that, and then maybe the patricians can, I don't know, increase their trade. They do like their trade. Uh, it looks like the counts are ahead. Thank you, for funding A, everybody. Oh yeah, I'm ready to fund A further if we need to. Yeah. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. We tried. I just had my finger on the trigger to fund A with 150 more. I I was about to spend some fundings, but I fumbled. Oh, How unfortunate. Cry about it. Damn. <laughs> let's find a spouse well and then deal with the famine. Funds. Or actually, no, let's deal with the famine first. Yes, you are so lacking for money. I am. I'm almost so broke. once again, we need to do something about the price of grain. Uh, oh. Yeah, can't feed the families. And the price of grain price in the north is beyond control. Again. <coughs> this oh, seems familiar. People. Always starving. And I can't import grain from the east because we don't have enough monies. We have plenty of grain. I'm sure we can share some. Mm, you don't want to. I I, I, no, I can't pay. Want money. Yeah. I think my best bet is to try and vote for A. Yeah, basically, just wait to see like one of the guests vote, and then you know that like it's opened. Mm. Alicia wants money. No, please. Hey, you guys! You guys want to go for B? B is pretty good, like raising that farming. Or yeah, although it would lower the treasury a lot. Yeah, but you would also get 
It's not the worst thing in the world. Or we could go for A. Let's be nice. Let's be nice to the Chiefs. Let's go to A. Really? Yeah. Really. I was gonna say oh, yeah. this because I decapitated you, but thank you. We'll be we'll be nice. You know what? Maybe it'll be nice in return. For what for once we can all just be nice. <laughs> Except <laughs> cynical. <laughs> Except cynical. Cynical doesn't believe in the authority of the the queen. Wouldn't wouldn't like feeding them be nice? <laughs> yeah, you know, let's n not let them starve. Thank you. I mean, it's only a forty percent chance. <laughs> yeah, maybe the authority might not be enough. Oh. Mm. Hey. Oh. You place a strict price cap cap on grain where. The wily merchants find a way around it. You order a few of them hanged as an example to the rest. Hey, the trade does go down the drain, though. I don't believe in your authority. The farming goes up, and stability is now stable. The short, sharp lessons does wonders. Soon enough, grain is cheap again, and no merchant dares to say a word. Hopefully, most of the peasants will stay alive until next harvest. <laughs> I don't believe in your authority, sorry, Queen. <laughs> We'll teach them a couple farming lessons, I'm sure. They'll yeah, be. they need a couple trade lessons, too. First of all, you need to start with turnips. <laughs> Forget your grains, that's your issue. Your greatness. I've come to thank you and the Ninth Church for your kindness during these so-called seasons of claws. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad for your help. Yay! Also, it's Chief Mordred Starfall in the second, because the first one died in the last game. I like that they keep that track of that. Side note, I just realized you have the fucking ace flag in the background. I on do? On the bishop's oh, yeah. hat. Huh? Oh, yeah. Huh. Neat. Huh. I mean, you would guess he is, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean... That's better than some... <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that. Oof. The creature's attacks have ended. I can only imagine why. But I thank the gods for it, both old and new. I'm so sorry, my intrusive thoughts. <laughs> May they never return. I mean, I'm not gonna dust very dismissive. dismissive. Um, once the chief has bowed their head to leave, your archbishop is quick to lean over to you. Your majesty, we're presented with a golden opportunity to expand the church's influence. We should capitalize on this goodwill immediately. Okay, I don't have a ton of treasury. Um, I... I was about to say... I just realized. Y yes, vote. I'm giving you all of the options of one. <laughs> I was so nervous. Yeah, I was like... Can you, can mm. you use more than one thing at a vote? No, unfortunately not. This is democracy oh, manifest. So it would be very funny. It is what it is. <laughs> it would be so funny to put a vote on a two-choice thing, mm -hmm. uh, a, a veto, and then make the other option the um. Yeah, the thing the where thing I get benefits. Apple. Yeah. Unfor fortunately, they told about that. <laughs> <laughs> they they checked the game for exploits. What? What? The chiefs are predictably angered by your brazenness. Still, your recent aid goes a long way in smoothing over any disagreements. The missionaries yield mixed results as the months pass. Some are successful in turning the northerners' peasantry towards the Nine Gold, while others find themselves chased out with only the clothes on their back. Look at me bringing the fate up. Could have been much worse, your highness. At least no one was mulched alive to appease some shrub goddess or the like. And now to find a spouse. All right, let's Yay! see if... Your Majesty, it's important to find a spouse sooner rather than later. Oh, yeah. Right. I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What's your preference? Men? Women? Or do you want me to spice it up? <laughs> you know, let's go for any. For one, like, I would say I'm not interested in love and go for the fate route, but clearly that didn't go well last yeah, time, I so... <laughs> well. aren't, aren't you right now going for the fate route? I am, I suppose. The thing is, I wonder if that might delay getting an heir. Also, you can pick to not have an heir 
have a lover later and we can see if Alicia's daughter yeah, shows true. up again. Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, they don't Please talk about your majesty, your nobles will be most upset. They don't are like, you're you're a monarch. Love has nothing to do with it. Surely it behooves you to look at some options. Huh. At least let him show you. I guess I suppose it would do no harm. You have enough bait, get an egg now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go for any and see what it does. Wait, Anne? Ed. Did you not have an earthquake? Oh. Yeah, I usually... I guess that I might guess be their, the their pre-roll. Ah. Yeah, yeah no, okay. it, it only protects you for so long. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go for any, for for a change for funsies. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll send out message to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer, shall we? It's an easy enough decision. You'll marry into the patricians, as we agreed before you took the throne, right? Right. Hmm. This is right. from the Alicia family. <laughs> 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 you stares daggers into you. <laughs> Far to the north, where snow blankets the landscape and wolves howl in the night, the chiefs uncover an ancient prophecy foretelling the rise of a tyrant queen and the warrior who will overthrow her. This isn't what the prophecy said would happen. Right, there wasn't supposed to be a tyrant queen. Something about drowning the kingdom in blood? Yeah, um, that might have been the prior queen. <laughs> aye, aye, keep your hat on. We're not there yet. But she needs a bit of encouragement, that's all. Mm-hmm. A few more executions, unjust imprisonments, that sort of thing. Then the prophecy will be filled and Sven will rise. Not Sven. <laughs> the mighty Sven. <laughs> Fucking Sven. Ooh. Oh, I can tax the... Huh. So I think I can take a little defiance on the patricians. Um. What, really? The, the, the patricians can take some defiance from their zero? <laughs> yeah, I also kind of want to take some extra money from the counts. Remember, we have the French with us. I do. <laughs> Bright me and I'll slow down <laughs> on the revolution. Huh, this prophecy is actually the biography of the last monarch. <laughs> Bright me and I'll slow down the revolution. Yeah... You see, I don't know. Tax me and see what happens. You will be taxed <laughs> anyhow. I... No, you can bribe them. Yeah, but you see, you guys already have a lot of money. We could have more. You see, I have a plan. Is it a good plan? Uh, but it's a plan. <laughs> She's cooking. Let her cook. I might burn some things in this kitchen. What's that smell? <laughs> Northern Bishop? Oh? Your Highness, I come before you a humble plea. We the chief is not off have an awakening. The ninth god has found his way to our lands. With your help, of course. Oh no. Why the fuck does the chiefs have seven faith? I just saw that. I'm like... Yeah. Why been forcing us to go to church? <laughs> yeah, I've been forcing them to church. <laughs> They went You're to Sunday experiencing school. exactly what Sweden experienced. On the fifth attempt, it <laughs> might work. I mean, it took a couple tries. Um, yeah. What exactly do you want me to do? Oh, hold up. We wish to officially recognize the name of God and ask you in return to appoint a northern bishop so that we may have re representation among the clergy. Okay, cast a voice. Very good, your majesty. I would be most happy to perform the rites on this new bishop, should the council agree to it. <laughs> I will give you all of the choices of one! <laughs> I 
I love democracy. <laughs> I nearly swore at you for a second. <laughs> Go for it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, you guys be at me twice. I can do this. You know I'm what? Signing. You're funny. <laughs> I'm I am signing this vote with a flourish. <laughs> No more nice Queen Luna, we're not leaving it up to the council anymore. I'm just getting bullied now. Do you notice you only force these one, pe one point votes on me? Nobody else? Well, you did behead me, like... <laughs> personally. So did, own, so did your current own people. Yeah, but those are kind of in my pocket right now. Back. The council has decided the new bishop shall be ordained. At first, for the chiefs of the north, chief hates, yeah, chief hates, and his fellow devotees are overjoyed. So the council are a little too defiant, but hey, the the fate of the uh, chiefs is now fanatical. It's even higher than the patricians. The other regions, however, are more reluctant to accept this new bishop. All kinds of excuses are given, but in the end, it doesn't matter. The bishop is ordained as Saint Bern. Trans within the month. The chief's completely mm. embraced in night. Yeah, so I'm gonna. What are you doing? Yes, you bloody are. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see what this does, and then I'm gonna see what options I have. Ooh, spooky. Mm -hmm. All right. Your grace, the merchants in the east are complaining about bandits. The eastern roads are too dangerous to travel. Even with guards, gangs of highly organized, well-armed highwaymen will ambush merchants, caravan, merchant caravans, and steal absolutely everything. Oh dear. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Make a few empty promises and hope this all will go away. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You guys? Maybe use the money in taxes to improve the kingdom. I'm I'm thinking of that. I don't know. Wanna You guys wanna go A then? One more defiance. Yeah, let's go make the road safer. Yeah, we'll go for A. B. B B B B B. What? You're gonna just leave Whoa. the poor counts? A. Let's go A. It will cost some money, but we'll we'll improve trade. We'll make it be better. We do need to lower their farming, but we can't do that right now. So might as well improve their other things and hope that doesn't come to bite us. Because I don't think we have much military. The only people with military might are chiefs. And apparently faith. Yeah, they have a lot of faith. You guys are max faith. Yeah, if they start, if they start like a holy war, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Crusades oh, from the land. You pay for a fearsome mercenary company known as the Ghoul Bitten to patrol the roads and keep the bandits at bay. After a dozen bandits attacks are repelled in roadside skirmishes, the bandits lay low and lick their wounds. The roads are quiet once more. Hey. Merchants grumble that the mercenaries demand constant bribes and their manners are almost as bad as those of the bandits. But who cares? Merchants are never happy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> My taxes being reinvested in the kingdom? Why? You're making it seem like taxation isn't even theft. <laughs> Which one is my lord? Paramount. Uh, usually you can see that the overlay, but let's give everyone a little look-see. You seem to be... Here, in the Patricians. Heyo! Now, let's see my illegible el options. I've found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. What if I don't want to marry any of them? That decision can wait until after you've seen them, isn't it? All right, let's go see him. They whisk away the clots from the first portraits. 
This is Askal, firstborn son of the Northern Riggle clan. Apparently, the other Northerners have nicknamed him Windspeep. Can't imagine why. Doesn't even have hair for wind to flow in. <laughs> even among the Northerners, he's made something of a name for himself as a fearsome warrior. People say he grudged, though. Okay. Also, thank you for the follow, Shadow. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Today we're not betraying. Today we are loyalists because the queen is of our making. I can see the appeal, I suppose. Let's not turn it down. This is the Matilda, the eldest daughter of the Incense <laughs> Eastern <laughs> Trans Right in her youth, she ran off and tried to join a circus. They found her in the end, thank the ninth. Okay, wiz wizard daughter. She had a lab laboratory installed in her castle and spends most of her time there, con uh -huh. conducting bizarre experiments. She'll, she's always planning something, they say. Scheming, schemes within schemes. Although this game, I suppose this game wouldn't remember the Wizard Chronicles, because that was like the, our very first game and we started an oh. entire new then. So, unfortunately, but we know, it, and in our hearts of hearts, <laughs> she's wizard adjacent. Yeah, the wizard, wizard adjacent with a laboratory. Yeah. And bizarre experiments. And finally, from the coast, we have Rhoda, the wealthy heiress of Lord Patrician Shadow Soul's estate. She spends most of her time in solitude in her villa, so I know little about her. I like the sound of her. <laughs> Mysterious. It could be worse, but it could be better. I think I need to go for the counts, because those are the most defiant right now. So? Also, you want wizard adjacent. I, I understand. Yeah, wizard adjacent. I was kind of hoping that the counts would send a religious one again. But yeah. I, I, think, I think I should go for Matilda for the whole, like not having rebellion happen again. That's not my child, I don't remember having kids. It's a niece or something. <laughs> trans right, sounds like it's a demonic ritual to trans music as opposed to metal or rock money. Well, you <laughs> see, they became a wizard. <laughs> a turnip wizard. <laughs> and then... were flourishing. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We'll go for Matilda, so... Not what the patricians want, but... Now at least nobody will rebel, hopefully. Me. Um... Okay. Well, add call to unity to our thing. Veto is just really nice, so we're not going to get rid of that. Let's go to our wedding first. Your wedding to Matilda is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bertrand's Cathedral with Matilda at your side. Do you take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife? I changed my mind. I can't do this. No, I do. I mean, I don't want the authority to go up too high, but... It's a reminder for a birthday girl. This is bird afternoon. Yeah. I know, I do want to try and finish this game, though, before we, we end the stream. No objection. I, I think it's too late for that. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast, and after the feast, a dance. Your new wife, Matilda, dances so vigorously that she spills wine all over herself. Oh, okay. Oops. My authority is now... A wild one! Dubious. <laughs> but at least everyone's defiance is down. I wonder what will happen if you're like... Oh, I'll marry this one, and it's like, you can't do this. I want to do that some sometime. <laughs> but in that time, you find yourself alone with Matilda. It's past midnight, and you've never felt more tired. 
<laughs> Hold on. Finally, I get to do a drunk voice, but it's a woman drunk voice. All right, let's. Good God, I'm so drunk, and yet somehow not drunk enough. Time for more wine. I. Time for more wine. Time for more wine. Servants bring us wine. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh my That's god, a... she will die of alcohol poisoning yes. in the first night. <laughs> spirit says, above so shall it be in me. So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> you. Mm. Well, I've got a few projects, and I'll have to tell you about one day. I'd love to show you my laboratory back home. I think we're hitting it off. Ooh. So what did you think of the Honey. wedding? Also, thank you for the health check. It was damn beautiful from start to finish, wasn't it? I had a whale of a time. Stretchy okay, stretch, look away it. check. Ah. Uh, shall we go to bed together? <laughs> no time like the present, eh? <laughs> She swings back her large drag of the wine and leads you to bed. Hey, I think we're getting along. <laughs> Yee. Uh, so, they're dealing with some mercenary extortion. That's not great. Your Majesty, those mercenaries you hired are behaving terribly. In <clears throat> addition to their wages, they're extorting tolls from traveling merchants in exchange for safe passage. What happens if nothing ever goes according to plan? <laughs> Between the bandits and the mercenaries, Eastern trade is being utterly destroyed. Oh, great. Hmm. Not safe for Luna? What's not safe for Luna? I mean, I guess bandits aren't safe for anyone. <laughs> oh, we could reduce their farming. We do need to do that. Although... Oh, hello, Compi! Compi Slime Ray, thank you so much for stopping by! I hope you had a, had a good day today. Thank you for coming by on my, my birthday stream. We are, this is the last game we're playing. When, when this monarch is done and over with, either having lived or having died, we are gonna find somewhere to raid out. I just don't know how long it'll, it'll, it'll be. We might need to do a little water break before then too, because I'm running out of water and... I seem to be living longer this time. <laughs> also, we have new confettis for anyone familiar. <laughs> Provided by Will. If you have the rain to run because you need to eat, sleep, or do other things, then please go take care of yourself. But if you can stay, then I'd love to have you guys here. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't think we should be keeping, like, continue paying the mercenaries. I don't think we should keep paying yeah, the mercy. No, I do not like these. Yeah. <laughs> we can just tell the merchants that from now on, this is just the cost of doing business. Yikes. Um. Hmm. The treasury would allow expenses. Yeah, but I feel like if we if we offer to pay the mercenaries more, that will just increase the problem. I feel like. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Birthday? I totally didn't read it right when I came in. Happy Borf Day. Hope they, there will be cake. I, I will be assembling my own cake tomorrow, hopefully. I, I've Hold baked up. the layers yesterday. I see a, a sweet. <laughs> um, and, and tomorrow I need to put it all together. Hopefully I'll have enough energy. But I'm having a blast today. Um, <laughs> you know... You know, I... Do I gamble? Hmm. No, I don't think I gamble. But uh, I I would like to go for A. I think I think okay. A. I am, I'm on board. Let's, with this. let's try A. The mercenaries are being jerks. We're gonna dock their pay. We know it's it's not great, but.
Hey, we, we have every kind of representative here. Who yeah. Uses Earth. That, that's fine. You guys also use it? Yeah, we have Earth, Us, and Ass. Oh, so similar. Here we got O, A, E. For your birthday, I made pizza during stream, but we were technically coding. Unfortunately, you're not here to eat it, so I will have to eat that pizza in my name and, and enjoy it well. <laughs> oh, and, and rarely we also have this bitch. Which is an S set. Yeah. It looks like a B, but it is an S. Meanwhile, we just like smack two two uh, vowels together and make it a new sound. So that isn't like an O and an E. That's like a different sound of O. Mm -hmm. So, and this is not a U and an I. It's a different sound of an A. Um... Why would we lower our farming? We can also, take the hit. The wonderful Alison favorite cake. I love chocolate cake. But to this year, I'm trying to make myself a chocolate almond cake. So it's a chocolate cake, but it will have almond like flavored um, pastry cream in the middle. Ooh, Probably really coated good. with uh, ganache, chocolate ganache. If I if I can get it up, pull it all off. Outraged at the reduction in their wages, the mercenaries march over the border to Ashmedian Empire and leave their kingdom for good. They plunder a few villages along the way for good measure, leaving ashes in their wake. In their absence, bandits begin preying on the roads once more. Well damn. <laughs> we brought their farming down, but their plans will still continue most... Yeah, no. Yeah. Like, we can take that hit. My fellow counts, we can take the hit. Oh, we lost one. Yeah. That's fine. We need to lose five to even be at a worrying point. Well, it wasn't, hasn't solved anything. Farming is still winning territory and trade has been destroyed. Yeah. Their farming is just too strong. We got turnips on our side. <laughs> you you did do have the turnip wizard from, from an alternate timeline helping you. Greedy coastal merchants are taking advantage of cheap northern labour, your greatness. Exploiting our natural resources and putting our trading companies out of business. Yeah, the trading isn't looking very good. They're vultures. Vultures! Me? Ten is muted. Oh. oh. Sorry, I had I had a bottle gulping down. Oh, you too? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> Cheers, sister! Is that really a problem? This is just business. And there goes Martin's money. <laughs> How does it feel, Martin? Having the, uh -huh. all your money taken by the patricians? This is just business, ka <laughs> It's just business, baby. Damn. Um, the queen will buy up the coastal trading companies. That... That doesn't sound good. Kick the patricians and put trading companies back in Norton hands. Huh. This will definitely piss off the patricians. This seems like... This seems like communism. This seems like we're gonna go communist. <laughs> I don't... I don't think this will work. Um... Also, Rune, do exclamation mark, you join, and then your preferred pronoun, so I'm guessing he. Happy and birthday! Hello, Ruru! You can be a part of this wonderful thing. What's the worst that could happen? A lot. A lot. I have been beheaded twice. <laughs> you want to start again? Um. Yes, but you could show up in the VOD. Hmm. I don't know. You... I guess we could put the trade back in the Norton hands, but then... Or do... Should, should we go... This, these are our companies now and just buy them up. Should we go B? You guys wanna... wanna f feeling like B? It doesn't change anything because you already want them. <laughs> I mean, not really. 
Uh, nah, you do what you want to do. I'm interested I'm... to see what you take. See, I'm kind of worried about emptying my treasury, so I'm actually going to stop B from happening. <laughs> oh. See, going bankrupt is also dangerous. North, vote A, please. Don't let them get that it's just business. They'll kill us. <laughs> nah, we won't kill you. We'll just take your money. The North has sided with us. And then raise the grain prices and oh, they're all dead. Hmm, maybe we did kill them. <laughs> no, no, that won't happen. See, the trade will increase. Yeah, I think you guys is trade, but not theirs. No, <laughs> no, everyone's trade, surely. Thank goodness. <laughs> see, I see hope you'll remember this, Northern boys. <sighs> yeah, it oh, cost them some money. Boy's wealth is gone. <laughs> Death below, trust me. Those northern fools will run my companies into the ground. All the coastal hey, companies in the north are transferred to new ownership. Lumber yards, fur traders, breweries, iron mines. So it kind of lowers the coast trade. But hey, Martin gets his money back. Hallelujah. And all goes to Chief Martin. As the months pass, it becomes evident the noble patrician Sophie de Bookworm was wrong. The companies continue to make nice profit, and their new owner spreads the wealth. Trade is now from terrible to struggling. <laughs> and that's another season done. Famine begins. Uh oh. Late at night, two counts meet in an ancient stone cemetery to discuss their schemes against the queen. A grain store. Our grain stores are looking much more impressive than the rest of the kingdom. They do. That would probably be because the rest of the kingdom is starving. Also, don't mind me, I have some nuns. Well, clearly, <laughs> you're not starving. I'm the queen, of course I'm yes. not starving. <laughs> and I've had peasants from the coast moving on to my lands, desperate to sponge off our prosperity. How exquisite. But won't summoning this demon be difficult? It's magic beyond our usual fare. The walls of reality are sturdy, but they can be weakened. A tide of blood must swallow this kingdom in its wake. Chaos. Oh, that sounds like something the chiefs want. Sort of. Oh wait, it's Spider! I completely fucking blanked on making his voice. Not that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Martin can do without it. <laughs> it's okay. He's okay. For the next stage of their scheme, the Counts must lower stability to four or less in two seasons. Oh, unfortunately, my stability is quite high. That's gonna take a little bit of work, but... Yeah. So, we're, I'm doing pretty well. I need an heir. Nibbling. So, to the north... If we find an option that lowers stability but raises authority... Take it. Take it immediately. Yes. I keep getting vetoed for everything I want. <laughs> I think I can make my, give my wife stuff. Requisitioning oh. rare regions. Ah, oh, Quinta, I've come to ask a favor. I've recently purchased a very rare regent, uh, reagent for one of my alchemical studies. The Cibrecium Black Pearl. Lamenti <laughs> lamentably is lamentably has been delayed. Make baby now. Listen, I'm working on it. I'm wooing my wife. I was buying it from Lady Patricia Oreganus. It'd be a great favor to me if you could chase it up on my behalf. I'll look into it. How delightful! Let me know how you fare. <laughs> I love my eccentric laboratory wife. <laughs> you summon Lady Patricia Noragonus to the council chambers the next day to talk in private. <laughs> Greetings, your august majesty. What can I do for you? Oh no, my neighbors are drilling. Oh. Uh... We can't hear it. That's good. I can, though. Uh... I heard just something for my wife. 
Lamentably, I can't give you the Black Pearl just yet. These pearls are worth mo quite a lot at the moment, more than any simple white pearl, and the supply has dried up ever since the merchant vessel sank on the way back from Valamir. Yeah, that would hinder the supply. My point is, I'm afraid the price of the Queen Concert paid will not longer cost uh, cover the cost of the item. Hey, wait, she paid in advance. You can't just change the price after. I am the economy. But you had a deal. Yes, and I'm altering that deal based on the circumstances. Pray that the pearl's price does not rise again. Rude. <laughs> Wait, isn't that a Star Wars quote? It is. <laughs> I have altered the deal. Pray I do not alter it further. It's from Darth Vader. Damn. <laughs> I <laughs> guess I'll be paying for my wife. My wife. My wife. <laughs> Marvelous. A pleasure doing business with you, your highness. Matilda receives the Black Pearl before week's end. She's most pleased with it. I kind of need another water break because I am very much out. And this is taking longer than usual. Uh, <laughs> but I really want to finish this run because it looks like I might win for once. <laughs> no, oh, predict. Well, I'll have you guys figure that out. I'll be gone. Uh, there will be gone for three minutes. There will be some ads so we don't have to deal with them, hopefully, for the rest of the stream. And then we'll see what happens. So, Ooh. one moment. This game is so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to try and play this for my birthday. Yeah. Uh, when's your birthday? The 23rd of October, but I have work that day and then after work i've got gym and then once i get home i shower so it's probably gonna be the weekend there like the last weekend of october i think i haven't it looks like i haven't planned anything yet it's like between the uh, 25th and the 27th is probably when i'm gonna do the like king of the castle yeah if you if you want me to take along let me know oh gladly and I'll I'll tell you, like how well I can squeeze in. Yeah. Especially with your fine, amazing uh, reactives, it's gonna be great. E. Yeah, they're so good. <laughs> they Listen, are very fun to make. Yeah, I'm going to the gym now, and it might be upsetting my body. Someone tell us she uh, drop does frames she drop in? frames though? I haven't seen it on the stream yet. Is anyone else experiencing it drops that? It in there. <gasps> yeah, I've but been yeah, I think names, but nothing else to say for that. I think I might just be working out more than like my body is taking in sustenance because mm. I'm having to get used to eating more. Okay. Uh, is it just the visual or also the audio that's freezing? Oh, d Selvers having the same problem as well? Uh-oh. Both. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna tell her. That's so interesting. I've I've heard a few people complain about that. I think Luna also can't. Um, I don't have any trouble here in Germany. Um. 
and I'm back. Welcome hey. back. Welcome back. Um, apparently you're dropping frames sometimes, like slight, slight short freezing. Like the stream or the model? The stream, apparently. The audio is also affected. Oh, shoot. I... If you reload the page, everything is good, at least here. Okay. What I oh. could do, potentially, is like stop me streaming the game to Discord, but then you guys would be quite delayed in seeing yeah. things. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, it wouldn't be ideal. Mm. <laughs> um, stream on both PC and TV, both visual and audio. I don't know how to fix that. It is weird that it's so much more affected right now. Yeah, I mean, we did have in the beginning of the day that it also warned me about dropped frames. So maybe the internet is just being wonky, but I I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, I don't oh, know. More, more that it's just a today thing. Yeah. In general. Because, like, on my end, the delay is, like, maybe a second. Yeah, it's mainly if something is stuttering that it's the most, like, annoying. It, it Having a delay is not ideal, but if it's, like, a second yeah. or two, that's fine. But if it's, like, freezing up, then that is kind of jarring. Yeah. What are you guys predicting? Oh, I don't... I guess I'll have to cash that in later somehow. <laughs> also, oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> let's continue. Uh, oh dear, they are yeah, having bandit problems. We're not oh, allowed okay. to do this. Every day more bandits attack our roads in the east. We are overrun with scoundrels and outlaws. I have seen the occasional buffer. When I see it, I pause and unpause the stream to catch up and make sure it doesn't fall behind on votes. Like freezes every minute or so, and I gotta fix, fix it so I don't have eight seconds delay. Yeah, our only ah, uh, I that is very unfortunate. And I, if if anyone knows how to fix that, like let me know. I'll try my best to fix it. But otherwise, I'm I'm not sure what I can do about it right now. Just like I don't know how to deal with these bandits. I've looked into this, Your Majesty. A leader of sorts has emerged from the. Uh, from among the rabble. For now, the lawless scum do his bidding. So can I seduce them? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. He calls himself Thomas Greensleeves. Thomas Greensleeves. <laughs> you went and, uh, very German all of a sudden. Yeah, I noticed. Like, because it's also just a normal German name here. So <laughs> I went with the default. <laughs> <clears throat> nah, he's German he calls, now. <laughs> he calls himself Thomas Greenslaves. And he claims to steal from the rich and give to the poor by the blood of the dead. Have you ever heard such nonsense? No! We got Robin Hood in our land! <laughs> no! <laughs> Robin Hood! Y'all are screwed. I'm not sure anything can be done. Tech issues are whack. I've been getting those pauses too, and oh, it was just me. You aren't seeing a message about encoding in the lower left of OBS. There really isn't anything you can do. Even then, it can be hard to find things to lower load on the processor. I'm not finding any things about encoding. I'm just, it's it's warning me uh, like 1.2% of dropped frames. And all the way in the beginning of the stream, there was like, we were in the red for like a a, a second. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting any encoding issues uh, as far as I know. And the CPU, it's like processing is is fine. Like it's it's barely going into zero point one percent. So it's I, I I don't probably on the ICP side then. Yeah, names are not meant to be translated. <laughs> Thomas Groenemaal. <laughs> the local visual uh, villagers idolize them. They're singing ballads about him, turning him into a legend, and they won't hesitate to let his men hide amongst them when the sheriff comes knocking. So we do have Robin Hood. Yes. <laughs> who cares who he is? We need to kill him and teach the others a lesson. Okay, maybe... Hmm...
I'm thinking of sending a spy because I want to try and meet this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he's in the game and I wonder if I can seduce him. You know what? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Turns out he's a raging homosexual. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate for me. <laughs> I wish I could make a reference to men in tights here, but I, I did not pay enough attention slash do not have good enough memory for it. I know exactly what you're referencing, though. <laughs> Come on, guys, B. We don't have the authority for the... Uh, I... Come on. Let's try and infiltrate the hideout. <laughs> increase the authority. That won't increase it, though. It'll just, like, succeed based pass. on... I do need to side with my northern allies. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I don't think this will work. Increase it. I don't think this will work, you guys. If it works, it's gonna be glorious. Yeah, but it might not even go up, even if it works. I'm hoping. Uh, it didn't work. Whoops. Apparently, I... <laughs> Yeah, no. and our stability went up because people were united in their votes. You launch a smear campaign oh, across the kingdom. Nice. Town criers shout about how Thomas Greenslee's bandits are cannibals and status. <laughs> Posters denounce him as a devil-worshipping warlock. It doesn't work. Why should the common folk believe you over their hero Greensleeves? He steals from the rich and gives to the poor. Well, there goes our authority. Hear rumor that Greensleeves is planning a response to your attempted smears. Oh dear. So you know, they had a point. The exactly wrong direction for us, Martin. Yeah, you played yourselves. That's not good. Your Majesty, there's a peti petitioner here to see you today. We're not exactly where she, sure where she's from. All right, Queen. I you hope you have a good reason. Your Majesty. Yeah, I hope you have a good reason. Oh. Those are fancy looking clothes and a little shiny medals. <laughs> I swear, Luna, are you sure you're an owl and not just a peacock? So pretty. <laughs> I'm a burp. I like shiny things. Um, who wants to read for Ori? 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 Shall I write for Ori? Oh. Uh, read for Ori? Right. I would you like to? I feel like... It, it, I might have to have I a little conversation. Well. Yeah, do you want to do it, Danny? Yeah. I, I can... I can... <clears throat> Wait a second. Uh... Ah, greetings, Your Majesty. My name is Alright. I have a proposition for you. Ooh, nice. <laughs> um, Who are you? <laughs> I am but a humble ship's captain. Once of great renown, but that was a different time. Pirate girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Not a pirate, then. Not a pirate? <laughs> no, your majesty. Never would I countenance the sword. Shame. Okay, you're from- Distant shots, your majesty. I prefer to keep my exact origins a secret. Alright, tell me more. Three ships are docked in- the inner arbor on, to the west. Their olds are packed with the guilds of muskets and powered gunpowder, and they each boast a full battery of cannons. They're all yours in return for a small favor. And um, what is this favor? I only wish to stay in this kingdom with your blessing and protection. I can show your soldiers how to use the weapons, of course. To avoid any accidents. Okay, and oh, what did you do? <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Your Majesty. I simply wish to keep my dealings private. You will forgive me, I hope. Um, I I want to go for for A. Uh, see everyone. No, don't take away my potential pirate girlfriend. Martin, you know I will side with you, you when you need it. You can't take her away from Luna. <laughs> pirate girlfriend, come on, you. guys. 
Pirate, pirate girlfriend. <laughs> pirate girlfriend. Do not betray me like this. Pirate girlfriend. Dang it. <laughs> yes. You all are too gay. Ha <laughs> 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 That's why we need a court system, because that would also be an amazing court. <laughs> <laughs> you are all too gay. <laughs> we can't value your stability. I value a pirate girlfriend. <laughs> Ore and her weapons prove most useful in, coming mon in the coming months. She and her crew train your officers as promises, as promised. Ore demonstrates by puncturing a metal breastplate at 500 yards. The council clearly made the right decision. And season. Our military is so strong. <laughs> Deep in the back rooms of the royal palace, the coastal patricians are poring over secret letters and scribbled diagrams. On the wall is a corkboard filled with pins and crisscrossed by colored string. The queen didn't marry Rhoda, but at least she married someone. Now she just needs to get on with finding an heir. Yes, finding one. Indeed. The clock is ticking. My spies have reported that the counts are stockpiling food in the east. They're definitely preparing for something. Then, we've got to keep up our efforts. Queen Quinta isn't going anywhere on our watch. I love having spies on my side. Also, thank you for the hydration and the stretch. <laughs> The patricians must continue to aid the queen by countering the other region's schemes. They will win the game if the queen produces an heir and completes her ambition. <laughs> Is there such a thing as being too gay? No. <laughs> oh, I found an heir in my, my wife's <laughs> Pretty clever hiding spot. <laughs> yeah, we need to reduce stability. We're also gonna raise authority just to get our... Uh... Okay, so D and A. Patricians, we can vote for F and increase yeah. the stability. Yeah. Oh, they're increasing their military? Come on. Nords. Nords, join me. I've just um, boosted A to absolute hell. Dang. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what we want. We need A and D, folks. We need A and D. You can force them to spend more money if someone boosts F a little more. Yeah, a little bit more F. Yeah, a little, oh, little more. Yeah, a little bit more, uh, a little more uh, F. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. No? A little bit more F. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, yeah, Orga. Nice. Organus. Good job. Good job. A plague of rats, not again. <laughs> so about a private exchange. Ooh. Oh. 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 Traded those weapons. She has been the cause of some concern. Thank you for the follow, Big Cheese. Nobles have complained that she has been rude and confrontational. She does not know royal etiquette, after all. Guess I'll have to teach her. Worse, some suspect her of being a Krith spy. I'll have a word. You find Orai pacing the halls far from her assigned chambers. Can I help? Kirth bounty hunters landed in the coast not long ago. I see where you're going with this. Exactly. They are looking for me. I did not expect them to come here. Clearly I was wrong. Um... About, tell me what you did and I might help you, or just be like, you'll be fine if you stay with me. <laughs> I kind of want to know what she is up to. Like, it feels pirate girlfriend, exactly. 
Hey, thank me too. I couldn't even spend too much because you taxed me. I do need to tax the people to spend the money for the thing. <laughs> <clears throat> she will be fine. You're the queen. I, I, maybe we'll just like, we won't even question it. You'll be fine if you stay with me. Uh, or maybe I could remove the hunters and bandholders from coming. That, that might even be more secure. Then do it. Okay. E. Oh, hmm. Pirate girlfriend, you guys don't get a choose. She's staying. I, I'm good with this. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> 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 Pirate girlfriend. We are given the illusion of choice. <laughs> I brought you religion, and now all I ask in return is a pirate girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, we've, went from, we've went from Scottish barbarians to everybody being a paladin. <laughs> yeah, you're melt. You've become the religious zealots. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a crusade soon. The vote succeeds and the crit are now banned from entering the country under any circumstances. The bounty hunters are swiftly expelled. I mean, it reduces the stability, so that's good for the counts. And it does yeah. reduce the trade, that isn't great. Orit is grateful for your assistance, though your chancellor warns of Kurt's, inne Kurt's inevitable response. Okay. So, Wait. about my heir. <laughs> what stability do they need? Hmm. Your marriage to Matilda has grown strong and steady, like an old castle wall. Though it began as a political arrangement, it's blossomed into something like love. Oh no. It's high time you thought about an heir. Pirate girlfriend might be a little difficult with this. Congratulations are in order! The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. But something's still missing. You need an heir! You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard. Or the youngest of your many cousins. Um... I plan to adopt a lowborn child from the orphanage. I don't think that would go over well. <laughs> I just love... I'm pretty sure I have a bastard child lying around somewhere. No, I don't! <laughs> Um, you know what? Let's make the youngest cousin my heir for for a change. That that, that might be interesting. That's right. Of course, an entirely sensible idea. I will make the arrangements at once. Make white baby. We already tried, and that baby died. <laughs> I, I, I I'll just make my cousin. <laughs> Count Vancouver strides into the council chambers, distraught, waving a dead rat by its tail. The fields are barren, the east is overridden by vermin, and we are more have no more poison for these horrid things. We can't cope anymore! We are seething! <laughs> well, the cards didn't really work last time. Because you say, take the rat and go, the east can handle this alone. They called enough farming. Um, you, you guys want to just, just tell the, the counts to suck it up? Cope? <laughs> we can just tell them we to cope. We have been coping. We are seething. <laughs> cope. <laughs> just tell them to cope. Awesome. You'll be fine. I, I heard something rats. new. Something new? So apparently I'm going to need to... Um... Drag you into the depths sometime. Into oh, dwarfin. Yes. Yeah, Rudru gave me gave me the the dwarf game for for my birthday. I the music is scary. I don't like being assaulted by bugs. I do like the sh collecting the shinies though. Collecting the shinies is very satisfying. Just you wait until you see the modern side of it. I don't think I want to. Yeah, it's deep rock. Oh, it's gonna be hilarious. Oh. Count Van Kerr's face falls, his grip tightens on the rat's tail. Ha! <laughs> How are we to survive with these rodents crawling over everything? 
Very well, your majesty. You have, like, the most food stocked up of everyone. You're, you'll be fine. Just eat the rats. <laughs> the rat infestation rages through the east like fire through straw. Thankfully, there's enough food stored safely that people do not starve. Yeah, I knew you'd be fine. Yeah. How many counts do we have? Counts? I think we have the most counts. You can, you can check. Yeah, we have more counts than anything else. But we aren't terribly That's imbalanced. Not a large margin this time. It's always interesting. Not everyone votes, so that's that's also a thing that it won't tell you that. Yeah. A pair of counts face each other in silence. A code word is exchanged. They speak of their latest schemes. What happened? The kingdom was meant to be in a whirlpool of chaos by now. It is more like a whirlpool of smiles and hugs. No demon will come anywhere near it. The Count's aim is to lower stability to four or... The patricians well, make 500 wealth think... selling snake oil. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll just keep... keep things, like, settled. Although... I can't believe that I will only get 300 from just keeping it, like, here. Like, dang. I don't get a lot it of would, thanks at all. It would be interesting to get an average of the last few votes. Yeah. Like, how many actually participated. Gasp, is it true? I'm no longer broke? Put a cruel <laughs> tax on the count. I'm not... I'm not, like, I don't want them to be defiant of me. Like, I could, the only ones that might, like, but I don't want to raise defiance too high, so I'm just going to keep it level. Yes. Make me defiant, please. No, no, no defiance for you. <laughs> no rebellion. <laughs> A city in flames. Uh-oh. The diplomat. An embarrassing... In okay, let's, let's check with the diplomat first. Oh, my. Uh oh, the Your Kurtz. Your Majesty, a diplomat has arrived all the way from Kurth. I'll take this one if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, try and do a French accent. I'm curious <laughs> if you can pull it. <laughs> Your Great Majesty, a pleasure. No, that's not <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, roll with it. I embarrassed myself with Australian before. <laughs> I wasn't Australian. It was fucking. It was fucking Dracula. <laughs> Uh, we, your great majesty, a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. I come on behalf of the Kirk Senate and Grand Pensionary. We are aware of this ban you placed on travelers from our country. We ask you to lift it, and while you're at it, we'd like you to release the re <laughs> fugitive captain you're you are in your custody. We <laughs> <laughs> will compensate you, of course. I will also humbly remind your majesty that Kurf is an original power that your majesty may not like to anger, if your majesty can handle it. Yeah, I got guns now, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna respond. I got guns. <laughs> I got gun. I'm not releasing. No, um... Uh... Who will get the defiance? I don't know. But I, I, I am vetoing this. Yeah. Okay. Martin, you know I all counts. Vote C. We are voting <laughs> C, everybody, to increase the authority. Actually, you know what? Fine. Vote C. I don't give a shit. I'll still do it. Yeah, we we can we can take the authority. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> red girlfriend. <laughs> Bye. We are not abandoning her. <laughs> I don't care, I already have a wife. I'll have two wives. <laughs> Do I need a four or five or four to win? <laughs> yeah, what what are is his goals? At least five. five. And they also they need the four or less. Four. How how far along are the chiefs? Um We are not even at one. Yeah. Ah, okay. Whilst the counts are at two, so we definitely don't wanna have stability go too low. Declining both requests, you politely ask the diplomats on their to be on their way. So my authority is. Well, no, I'll have their back. 
If they have mine. Their pleasant facade falls quickly as they warn you that the reaction from Kurt will be swift. A few nobles condemn you for your attachment to Ore, ah. both lamenting the forsaken coin and fearing the promised retribution. Okay, so people are getting a little too def too defiant. I'm sure it'll be fine. You are awfully attached to this one. If some <laughs> am I. I wasn't expecting you to be so blatant. Oh, Rune! It's you! Also, everything is on fire. What happened? <laughs> Rips a city in flames. Your 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 esteemed highness, there's been terrible fire in the city of Taurus End, where once there were buildings, there is now a field of smoldering ash. Dozens of citizens have died. What caused this fire? Filled with religion's conviction, the townsfolk seized the traveling wizard and attempted to burn him. <laughs> of course, Dagon, don't you guys know you don't mess with the wizards? For practicing dark magic. He walked out of the city unharmed. The same cannot be said for those who tried to burn him. This is why you never tangle with wizards. <laughs> I was hoping the council might unlock some funds from the treasury so we could rebuild. Let's see, rebuild the city exactly as it was, rebuild in stone rather than wood. I mean, that would be better against the whole fire situation. Oh, for no help. Punish the... Find him. No, you don't tangle with the wizard, you guys. <laughs> we are not tangling with I the mean, wizard. What if we did, though? <laughs> no, we are not tangling with the wizard. It would be funny. No. You can't stop me. Yes, I can. You don't have the veto anymore, so you can't I do have the veto. I can, and I will stop you. <laughs> what? Okay, Invisible vote C. C. Yep. Vote C. B, guys. Uh, or no, actually A. A. Oh. B, B or A. Vote I guess we'll go for B. More stability. I don't know okay, if B it right. is. B, B. I don't I don't know if you're gonna do this one way or another, but I saw the low stability and I was like, I need to, I need to get rid of nope. that. Yeah, nope. no, like, <laughs> Norris, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop, please, it, go for C. It will tank our, our monies, but at least it'll also lower defiance, so. Oh, if you, look, the quick. <laughs> if you're taking a look at Luna, do you not want to help her? Don't no. you want to help me and my pirate girlfriend? <laughs> or I guess she's more of like a, 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 a captain girlfriend. <laughs> the rebuilding process will break the bank and take much longer, but fire should never have ravaged Taurus and sturdy I'm stone not, buildings again. I'm not gonna lie, I was strategically goading Luna to uh, veto a thing that wouldn't hurt me. <laughs> Damn. You played I me. I was planning to pick C from the start. See, that's what I tried to do. I was like, I saw the low stability. I was like, mm, we need rid of that veto. Yo, hold on. My time for friends. Where is it? <laughs> there it is. Your grace says that time has come. Hey, this time he has gone too far. Too far, I say. Uh, yes. Um, who? <laughs> Thomas E. Greensleeve, of course. The leader of the bandits in the East. Did you not hear what happened to me? Nope. I was traveling back to my castle when I was ambushed by a green sleeve and his vile gang. They pointed their bows at me and took everything I had. Everything! And Alicia had lost all, all, all their money. Poor Alicia. And to make matters worse, they blindfolded me, sat me backwards on a donkey, and paraded me through the nearest village singing songs about how I was an ass of an ass <laughs> with both an ass with an ass for a queen. Hold oh, on, they brought me into this? Hilarious, I'd like to hear this song. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't mere robbery with light satirical accompaniment to your majesty. It was an assault on the rank and assault and rank treachery. It must be answered with overwhelming force. 
Lots of people are coming out of furries because of green sleeves. What? <laughs> By all accounts, Thomas Green Sleeve thinks that you uh, thinks of you as a tyrant. He's going around telling peasants that the, the true queen is a deliverer of the counts. That's interesting. We must hunt him hunt down these traitors. But first, he's spreading my wealth around the local peasantry. I demand that we take it back by force. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, I can't compensate. We spend all our money on the city. Um, the veto is gone. <clears throat> the veto is gone. See everybody. I would. I would love for a. Um. A A, a sounds good to me. We can't. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. We can't hey. go against the <laughs> against Alicia. Okay. We all saw what happened to fucking Luna last time. Yes, <laughs> but also, are you really going to steal money from the peasants? That's just mean. Absolutely. Yeah. That'll oh, just add no, fuel to the on. fire. One more for, one more for or it's gonna a, tie a, a, no. a, please, hey, <laughs> come on. Hey, 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 <laughs> Why? Uh, I really want to see Luna win this. My gold! My precious gold! How am I supposed to buy wine? Cope! <laughs> Not the wine! <laughs> Your Majesty, my spies stand at the ready to track down the screen sleeves troublemaker. Just say the word. <laughs> the word? <laughs> I do think I should. <laughs> <laughs> Witty as ever, your majesty. We'll have him within a fortnight. I wonder if I can speak to him. The worst part is that the North does not listen to Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, your people. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> won one of them. You, you decapitated me once, so, you know. I decapitated you once, you know, people decapitated you once. Yeah. It happens, I guess. Um, you know, I think what I have currently is actually pretty good because I don't need to raise authority. So I think we'll just take yes, this. Do. No, I don't. <laughs> hey, Luna, guess one. One. Bankruptcy looms. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I guess we'll have to deal with that first, huh? Luna's cute. No, I'm not. How dare you? But, but thank you. She's also very pretty. She is pretty. I do like the picture of the advisors on the back. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, who wants to vote them? Should, should I vote the treasurer? I mean, they're a patrician by the looks of it. True. I mean, okay. Um, uh... I don't know. The treasury... No, no, no. We're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I vote... Uh, oh, wait, I could I could use my Satoon voice. I haven't used that one yet. Okay, uh... The treasury is almost empty, your highness. Uh... What do you suggest we do? Apart from raising taxes, we have precious few options. You can get a bank loan or sell the crown jewels... Or perhaps crack open some predecessor's tombs. Most were buried with piles of gold, or so I've heard. I own the royal mints, don't I? Make more coins, let's not do that. Um... Oh, that would... Oh, that would lower authority! Huh. Sell some of the royal jewelry to the wealthy or nobles. I, I see... You auction off a dozen of necklaces, five gold rings, and a jeweled scepter to the nobles. It's a humiliating affair. Selling of symbols of power makes you look weak and desperate. <laughs> oh no, my authority! <laughs> Why must you hurt me this way? <laughs> <laughs> and the spiders come to mock you, I'm sorry. God dang it. <clears throat> Aww. Oh, look at this tiara. Fetching, isn't it? Don't mind if I... Do. Oh, my cat is in my room hey, and she's staring at me. Step, 
like I'm the queen. <laughs> At least you got to get my scepter. <laughs> <laughs> um, the net closes. Let's see if we can we can meet uh, Thomas Greensleeves. Any? Oh, um, Your Majesty, my spies have uncovered the location of Thomas Greensleeve's hideout. We must strike quickly before he moves on. Oh, this is it! Our chance to finally bring an end to the bandage problem. Okay, well, we can't hire an assassin. Um... Uh, yeah. I guess we'll just go for B. I, I mean, we... We, like, for once, we are all on the same side, because I don't think the Chiefs yeah. want to lower the authority. No. Um, so, you know what? Let, let's let's go for B, you guys. Bing, bing. Oh, my cat wants out, so whilst you guys vote, I'm gonna let my kitty out again. So if all of the chi other chiefs voted against you, I would just be convinced that you have just been cursed with reverse <laughs> voting. You know, a similar thing happened on a game show I was on with friends, where um, it's like the people were voting what questions we got. They gave me the <laughs> they gave me the fucking worst ones. <laughs> <laughs> like all your friends, they get the easy ones. It's just like really, really? I'm back. Hi. Hi. I see we are all agreeing well. Uh, not gonna lie, this this kitty also has to leave soon. Oh yeah, I I hopefully we can win quick. <laughs> but if you have to, if you have to bow out, I fully get it. And thank you so much for being here. Yeah, I'll I'll like leave. I don't know after this event or the mm -hmm. next. Thomas Greensleeves and his bandits are hiding out uh, in a little grove deep in eastern woods, swinging down from tree houses and picking blackberries for breakfast. They are just Robin Hood. It's indeed an... Yeah. Listen, I didn't expect to, to live this long. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> idyllic, or it was until your army got there. In the ensuing battle, the trees stopple and the tree houses burn. Greensleeves dies a hero, filled with arrows, but still trying to fight. His bandits all perish shortly after, singing one last sorry song as your soldiers do their grim business. Oh, oh damn! Even <laughs> I wanted death, they are admirable. Yeah, I wanted that to is capture them. Badass. I wanted I to capture them. <laughs> your soldiers suffer minimal, minimal, minimal casualties. Now, at last, the roads in the east are safe to travel once more. But the common folk are furious at you. They will continue singing ballads about Thomas Greensleeves for centuries to come, with you in the role of the Tyrant Queen. Oh no, the stability! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> and then Dire Straits. Your Majesty, we're broke. We can't even afford to pay our sweepers. The capital streets are overflowing with trash. <laughs> and refuse to sell my gold dinner. No, I don't refuse to sell. What can we do? Fortunately, Lord Patrician Modest Pickle has offered to lend a hand. <laughs> You're even colored right. <laughs> the cost is with you, Your August Majesty. If we can help this beautiful city, we will. Um. <laughs> Strongly encourage nations from wealthy patricians. Uh, I don't see how asking Faithful of the Coast to make a pilgrimage would work. Maybe we need to ask for a donation? I mean, if we if we make a pilgrimage, we maybe spend money on tourism. Yeah. Um, I'm taking this one off. Actually, no, I don't actually think... Cause no, but none of us want to... Lower authority. I, think, I don't need to worry about I that. Think none of these are bad for you. Yeah, none of these are that bad for me. I would go for C or A. I think A. I'm feeling pretty confident about A. Yeah. I, I want to see how it exactly the uh, text is for B A. Yeah, I'll go for it. I'm on board. 
I love that the Spider Boy wants a uh, coastal festival. Yeah, we don't have a strong enough trade though. The patricians aren't very. Could I have a festival? <laughs> I love the mental image of spider in my head right now. <laughs> it's so freaky. I love it. Oh, we did it. Good. Yeah, I can house. Join house. Just do exclamation mark. Join. Yeah. We did it. The Archbishop <laughs> issues a proclamation inviting the people of the coast to be blessed in St. Bernard's Cathedral. Charitable donations are requested to support the capital upkeep. Soon the people and coins flow in. Oh, we did it. Dying. That's a lot of money. You have um, to go now. Thank you so this, very, this very much. That's a great timing for this screen right now. My my dear patricians, please remember, we're loyalists this time, and Luna does deserve to have a win for once. Like she she's been like diced up twice now. It's, no, it's throw her in notion. Give her a little bit of. <laughs> throw her in notion um, so she can find her pirate girlfriend <laughs> some that she wants so badly. I I mean, I kind of already found her, and I have a wife. <laughs> I I very much had fun here. I do have other commitments. Um, it's a delight to have you. Yeah, thank you so thank much you. for spending thank your you. time here. Have fun. Take care. Uh, yeah. We'll try and win. <laughs> I'll, I'll have fun and tell me how it went later. Yes. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. <sighs> Let's continue. I do want to round things off because I'm getting real tired, but also... Oh, my air. My air? Oh? Oh? Your quest for an air is finally complete. You stand before the council, holding a small child in your arms. Should I die, I ask my crown be passed down to... The council hall is filled with nervous silence. Oh. Everything increases stability! My cousin, an adopted child. The assembled nobles break out into polite applause. By designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. He's losing his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, may I be the first to congratulate you on adopting an heir? What's their name? Yeah, it always gives you your, your name and then the second. So the only way to have it ever be like my name is if I keep winning. <laughs> Most pleasing, your grace. I'm sure little Quinta the second will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Congratulations on finding an heir. Now you just need to fulfill your ambition to win the game. Expect a visit from the spy master soon. You know, some somehow I'm feeling confident. For once. After being horribly, horribly maimed the last two times. For a venerable leader, we'll stand by you to the last drop of coin. Thank you, thank you. Why is everything on fire again? <laughs> Not again! Um, Your Majesty, a ship exploded at the port. The water swelled like a tidal wave and my whole town was devastated. How could this happen? Oh, it might be the Kurds. I have no idea, your esteemed highness. All I know is that the ship arrived from Kurt just yet. I knew it! And now my ducks have been destroyed. Oh, depths below. If I may. This may be the promised retribution from Kerr. Yeah, you know. You might be onto something. Retribution? This was an attack. You cannot let this stand, your majesty. Um. I mean, we got the military. We do got the military. <laughs> Increase our authority in military. Um, I will vote with you, Martin. Okay, you guys want to command? I mean, it's it's either that or we put A, which is just like authority and trade. Fuck them, guys. Actually, the military is at max. It might be better to just go for A. Yeah, but there isn't there isn't like a yeah. I would go for for A then. Like you'll 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 be allowed some yeah. some authority. Um, well, my main thing is, I know you say you need to end stream soon, so yeah. like, what is the fastest way for us to win this? And yeah. Like win the air thing. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll go for A. A, a is yeah. good. 
Yeah. Voting, everybody! Because I don't really want to have Ore get involved because I'm worried about my captain girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't really my girlfriend, but... Your mistress. Luna, you have a side piece? Oh my god. I have what two wives. Scandal. One just isn't officially sipping, recognized by the church. Sipping blood from a teacup. Oh, the scandal! I love it. I mean, have you seen how many shiny medals she has? Her. I like shinies. This will surely be considered an escalation by Kurt. I hope the council knows what it's doing. The laws are passed swiftly and without mercy. Kurt immediately responds with sanction sanctions of its own, and you soon find yourself in the midst of a trade war. Yeah, our trade isn't looking too good. Your Serene Highness, there's a problem with the library we built in the coast. Moisture is seeping into the walls and the books are damp and moldering. And my kitty wants inside my room again. You continue reading. I go... Just, just give me a second. Okay. Hi, Luria. Also, Martin. Yes. Would you be down to help me push someone over a, a threshold? What you got? Let me find the, the name. Okay, she wants something from me, from me, but I can't really do that right now because I'm streaming. <laughs> And you're telling me damp is bad for books, is it? Um, just move the books? We're trying to get this person to 80. To 80? Because they made... Uh, yeah, there's someone who made a bet that if they hit 80 by, like, tomorrow, they'll do a singing video. Ooh. But I also... <laughs> Want me to send you the, the link? Uh, yeah, but I also, I kind of, I'm not sure if they're live, but I also have someone who's doing an anniversary stream oh, that yeah, I kind of yeah, wanted yeah. to raid no, into. This person, is, this person is not live, I don't think. Yeah. Not right now. If you want to give them a shout out, that's all good. We can surely do, we can certainly do that. Yippee! Uh, me. If the you guys want to make a singing stream happen. Else. You're August Majesty. That's why it was built. We can repair some of the library, maybe even save one of the sections if we have help. But we don't have enough resources to to rescue the whole thing. It is very fitting that Ruined like would be the librarian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we got money and then we spend it all. Um Hmm. We could focus... Like, I'm not sure about spending all the money immediately, you know? Hmm. So, we don't... Mm, I mean, or we do. Uh... Yeah. I... I... I think I would lean more to C, but yeah. I wouldn't mind A either. Yeah, I'll put C in. Oh, uh, <laughs> well. The patricians of the court are plentiful. I I guess, I mean, it makes sense the patricians would be yeah. like, you know, you, could you maybe repair just the entire thing? It also makes sense that there are so many, because, well, there's a patrician on the throne. Yeah, also, health check, thank you. Took a sip of water. I'll do stretchy stretch quietly. The treasurer's eyes widen when you send her plans and cost, but she makes the necessary arrangements and her parents get on the way. She's like, gosh dang it, we just avoided bankruptcy. <laughs> During the renovations, previously obscure economic and military scrolls are unearthed and catch the attention of coastal scholar scholars. A minor re renaissance occurs in the coast as a result, so their military is now mighty and their trade is up a little. Once it's finished, the patricians name a whole wing of the rebuilt library in your honor. Hey, they're now fully loyal loyal. So when do I win? 
Because it's getting real late. I am not sure. Surely it'll be soon. I have a... I have a... We haven't talked to the spy master yet, but I have an heir. And, and I... And I'm close to succeeding. I'll do the stretchy and looking away while she votes. I don't even know what to vote for is the thing. Well, I guess you want authority up. Yeah, but won't that cause problems for you? Uh... It probably wouldn't uh. move so quick. I... Oh, and the patricians want their trade up. That makes sense. That does make sense. And the counts desperately are trying to make the stability go down. Yeah, I'm broke. Yeah, I'm broke as well. Oh! Oh! All of our money. You guys we just you about did it. made it. We actually did it, Martin. High five! Oh. Nicely done. Let's fucking go. Oh, my ambition. Oh. Oh, okay, so this is where we'll find out, because you have yeah. the ambition there. Yeah. At the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be a saint. You're well on your way to reaching that goal. The church have never loved the queen have never loved the queen more. Well done, your majesty. Hey, the divine's going down. But to shut down your noble scheming for good, we need to build on that reputation. Your advisors have some ideas. Your Majesty, if you help us spread the zeal of the ninth, gold, the church will lend us lend our full support. With the backing of the church, the nobles wouldn't dare move against you. Have you heard of the Scepter of Sages? It's an ancient lost artifact forged by Queen Alma the Wise. There's a legend that any queen who recovers it will rule over a golden age. Um get elevated by the church to status of a living saint, authority and faith. Hmm. Recover the Scepter of Sages, Fate and Trade. Okay, I I think Authority and Fate might be easier because yeah, Trade is very low. Easier. Yeah. A wise decision, Your Majesty. I'll send word to my priests. But of course you need to be worthy. Your priority is to raise your authority and the kingdom's overall fate as much as you can. And of course, there can't be open rebellion among the nobles. Are we finally getting more authority? I've been trying this entire game. <laughs> I got a special surprise for me. And hey, we'll re we'll brace the authority now. Now it behooves me. <laughs> me starving in a corner. Do I finally get a crumb of authority? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been a long day of council sessions. You stopped by Orit's quarters before retiring for the night. The Chancellor mentioned that she wanted to see you. Oh? Inside, you're met by a peculiar sight. She's laid out a table with expensive food, a bottle of wine coals in an ice bucket, candles flicker in the darkness. Oh! Your luminance. I wanted to thank you for everything you have done, keeping me safe. I can't say ever anyone's ever gone to war for me before. <laughs> Don't mention it! You know I'm married, right? Oh, hello. we are. Is this what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? Definitely. Oh. She has shiny, shiny medals. It's merely a token of my gratitude, my queen. The least I could do. Captain girlfriend. Are you? <laughs> no way. That's. Are you imagining it, or do you hear a tinge of affection in the way she says, "My queen"? She's never called you that before. Uh, no, we're- I'm joining us! <laughs> Captain Girlfriends! <laughs> you enjoy Holy a night word. of good wine and questionable food. She tells you stories of faraway Miss Laden Kurt and her former life as a senator, and her escapades as an outlaw. Okay, I guess she would be a pirate girlfriend if she was an outlaw on sea. To tell you the truth, my crimes against Kat were more than I initially let on. If I had succeeded, you might have called it a coup. Hey, I mean, that's kind of how I got here too, so... <laughs> we got a lot of common. <laughs> but the Republic is not what it once was. And I was young and headstrong. Headstrong. Um, 
<laughs> I hope you're not planning any more coups in my kingdom. I understand. You want to change things. Yes. That's me in a nutshell. Always aiming high. Polyamory root, let's go. I hope my wife doesn't mind. She glides closer. <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> she glides closer to you, her wine-speckled lips glistening in the candlelight. A stray hand creeps behind your shoulder. She's flirting with me, right? This is flirting. Yeah, yeah. The, no, <laughs> okay. Is, you are on the verge of making out, and you're like... Oh! Am I? <laughs> Alchemy okay, wife and pirate girlfriend, terrific. Hey, I succeeded. Never stop aiming high. Honest, I leave. Okay, I can kiss her. I can kiss her. <laughs> I kiss her. Yes, pirate girlfriend achieved. You lose yourself in her embrace. Suddenly, you forget your crown, your responsibilities, your whole kingdom. All that matters is her. Are you gonna get the chance to elope? I, I think I get the chance to elope. I feel a little bit for I my bad for my wife. You're wed, and I. No, I'm eloping with you. But you are wed to Matilda. I refuse to pay seg play second fiddle to anyone, even for you. Oh no, my Wait, poor wife. <laughs> no, I feel bad. <laughs> Well, Luna, what's more important, current wife or pirate girlfriend? I, I've been wanting pirate girlfriend to die from the start. I'm so sorry, Matilda. <laughs> you will? I mean, to be fair, like, it wouldn't... I think it would be meaner to be like, ah, yes, I'm going behind your back and actually loving someone else. <laughs> pirate girlfriend. She looks uncharacteristically timid for a moment, then embraces you. Let us spend the night together and celebrate a little longer. There will be a lot of straightening out in the moon in the coming months. Yeah, people won't be happy. Yeah, poor I'm science not wife. Sure anything the coming months will be straight. <laughs> you do so gladly. A wine fueled, laughter ridden night ensues. You wake up next morning with a splitting headache. All right, strong arms wrapped around you. I'm sorry, science wife, <laughs> but pirate girlfriend. Did you say I'm sorry, side wife? <laughs> <laughs> science <laughs> wife, because she has a laboratory. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Your Majesty, the Republic of Kurt has levied extreme trade sanctions against us for our perceived crimes against them. Notably, they re your refusal to surrender or head to their custody. Yeah, no, she's not going anywhere. <laughs> we don't need Kurt. They're our biggest trade partners by far, your majesty. Our econom economy is basically on fire now. Okay, so what can we do about it? That's for the council to decide. Kurt must also be suffering from this, but we can't afford to wait them out. Our people will soon run out of basic necessities. Uh, escalate the trade wars by raising tariffs on Kurt's goods. Uh, it will raise my authority. We do need to raise authority. Yeah. But it also raised defiance. Um, I don't want to lower fate. Yeah. I don't really want to lower authority. Send a navy to take Gert's go. Oh, that's mean. You really could just be full on tyrant with this and just go take their shit. Yeah, I could go. I could take their shit. Um, <clears throat> you guys just want to. Um, I'm down for. You guys just want to be mean. <laughs> you guys want to be like. They gave us guns. Not. You know, Ori gave us guns, and now we're using those guns. You know what? I vote with Martin. The Counts oh, will support the Northerners. We'll just take their stuff. It's our shinies now. Oh, D, it's our stuff now. We have guns, and we're not afraid to use them. Can I just point out, it's been many rounds uh, since, <laughs> since a Northerner has actually spoken. <laughs> That's oh like yeah! A couple of the extra rolls. I was just like, I, I don't get. I, I'm just gonna grab a couple. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. The Northerners have been basically absent. Absent. You bullied them. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've turned them into priests. <laughs> but they're happy. And and hey, you got a really. We did give you guns. 
Wait, do we have some of the guns? <laughs> yeah, you have some of the guns. guns. Oh! The Navy starts patrolling I, the ghost I'm sea. My, my spiders to be okay with hearing the sound of guns so that I Intercepting can, Kurt vessels and taking plunder spiders. whenever they can find it. Of course, Kurt is quick to respond. We became the pirates. I am the pirate girlfriend now. <laughs> The trade war heats up, flaring into open battles on the high seas. Back in the north, as Chief Sir Sleep Saul Hall, <laughs> Sleep Saul Hall Lots, Clan Hall, a congregation of God speakers <laughs> huddle around table the tables. Oh, finally. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <clears throat> Praise Morgana, the tablets are genuine. Then the gods are good and we are blessed and Sven will be our king. All hail the Lord Render. Chairs circled the clan hall. A mug of ill stepped over Sven's head. The indulgence the old god is spreading. We must ensure we keep the old ways of the north alive. And surely Morgana will bless us with the power to crown Sven. Thank you for the hydration. For the next stage of Chief's scheme, they must lower their pay to four or less than four seasons. <laughs> oh, that's my... <laughs> um, I think I can take a little extra money from them. And because I want to probably... Uh, you know what? I think this will be fine. Hopefully... Hopefully, we'll be like in good spot soon. Where, oh, ambition, sainthood, and controversial. Yeah, I suppose marrying my pirate girlfriend. Yeah, my <laughs> I want to see that. You, you, you want a divorce? I'm sorry. How dare you! After everything I've done for you, do you think you're better than me? No, but I do think my pirate girlfriend is. It would be foolish of me to try to discuss with you, but at least tell me why. I'm sorry. I want to marry or I can't, I'm gonna be honest. I should have known that Hussy had her claws in you. Oof. <laughs> Weeks later, you have the unenviable job of informing the nobles that you plan to elope. Uh, Martin, do you want to take, like, some of them? Yeah. What is it, Your August Majesty? It's not long until my afternoon nap. Can I'm divorcing Matilda that? and marrying Lady, Orin. Lady Patrician, Lady Catitude. You're doing what? Oh dear, the, the, the counts are angry. Please don't rebel against me, okay? We're so close to just winning. Just, uh, I'm tired. The count stand with you. Oret stand behind you, brandishing her flintlock pistol with exaggerated movements. Yes, pirate girlfriend. I'm sorry, Lady Patrician. Lady Patrician Catitude. Do you have a problem with this arrangement? But, but your serene highness, from the curf, those bastards don't even believe in mo monarchy. I still think she's a spy, personally. Well, your thoughts be damned, I'm marrying this woman. <laughs> Despite your noble's protest, the Chancellor is able to persuade the Archbishop to go through with the ceremony. It's not long before you find yourself back in St. Bernard's, Cathedral with Ore by your side. Dare you have <laughs> to do it? It's Pride Month! <laughs> do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? A again, I do. Then I pronounce you queen and wife. <laughs> Please don't do this repeatedly. <laughs> hey, Kurt Cross Lovers, you married Ored. I didn't. Uh, one, one, one. Once you're finally alone, Ored cracks out another bottle of wine. Where does she keep getting those? You wonder if she's been out at your stash. Maybe. Show, so passes another night of ro 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 raucous. raucous laughter and drunken escapades. The trouble with Kurt is actually starting to seem worth it, just for these moments. 
<laughs> Yay for gaiety. Um, let's see my ambition. Are we, are we successful? Your Majesty, I've received messages from the priests beyond the capital. They've been working hard to promote your power in every sermon. Ah, I'd love to see the church and state working together. <laughs> Absolutely, Your Majesty. Listen to the priest. Okay, come on. We got this. Oh, your command of the kingdom is masterful. Your Majesty, the nobles are in no position to push back against you. Now the true journey of sainthood begins. We will scour the kingdom for miracles so that you can show the holiness of your... Oh my goodness, we have more to go. Um, please thank your priests for me. Oh, they need no thank. More than ever, they serve the crown and the ninth as one. I shall write my priests directly. They will investigate any potential miracles and send word once they find something. Wait for a miracle. After a few weeks, Lord Patrician Hot Sauce Bear arrives excitedly. <laughs> Martin, you want to take this one? Most excellent, your august majesty. Excellent news from the coast. Eight white wildcats were seen close to a p uh, patrician's villa. And a group of mercenaries followed them along the coast. There they found an ancient forgotten church carved into the cliffside. Okay. Wildcats vanished, leaving only a handful of fur. Not to mention the coastal crops suddenly flourished. Okay, that does sound very miraculous. Besides, you must recall how last week the statue of Saint Ber Bertrand wept blood after you visited the cathedral and that the peasant reported a vision of you being blessed by the ninth. When the queen's rule is holy, the ninth gold rewards. Everyone agrees the signs are there. Did we get it? <laughs> well, this was for a few mention. Does it mean it's time? I believe it is, your majesty. Did I win? I will make preparations for the ceremony at Saint Bernard Bertrand Bertrand's cathedral. I look forward to seeing you. That evening, your wife comes to see you. My wife! Hi, wife. <laughs> Saint Quinta, what an honor! I can only imagine what you'll do with the kingdom after this. <laughs> I'll deal with my enemies with... I want the church and the crown to work in harmony. Let let's be nice about things. As saintly queen, you are just a person to do it. Before you know it, it's... The time has come. It's a glorious sunny day in the capital, and the layers upon layers of ceremonial robes are rather hot. You stand before the Archbishop in St. Bertrand's Cathedral in front of the gathered nobles. Oret stands beside you, her hands in yours. Off to the side, Queen the II is watching excitedly. They occasionally try to dash into the crowd, but their governess retrieves them each time. We gather before the, nine, the power of the Nine God to witness the holy influence of Queen Quinta. There follows a very long sermon. Stan and smile respectfully, whispered to the Archbishop to get on with it. <laughs> Come on, we're all tired, get on with it. <clears throat> yes, quite. Fate can't go higher, fate is now zealous, fate is now fanatical. And thus we bring Queen Quinta for her sacred blessing. A blanket of silence falls over the cathedral, you step forward and the Archbishop sprinkles holy water upon your brow. Perhaps you feel something. Cold water being splattered on you. <laughs> a bright spark of potential. The future stretches ahead as the endless power of the influential church surrounds you. The nobles can never stand against you now. Rise once more, Queen of the Kingdom and Saint Quinta! May the ninth gold bless this day. He will, Your Majesty, he will. Applause rises in the cathedral, echoing in the huge rafters. Surrounded by her red robes, Devotees, the High Inquisitor is watching closely. After a moment, she applauds with the rest. At the next council session, the nobles arrive to find a cluster of Inquisitors who have joined your honor guard. What are they doing here? Since when does the Inquis uh, Inquisition have such a place in the council? By the ninth, hush. Do you want to be tried for heresy? Sainthood hasn't changed me, I promise. The power of the night god courses strife veins! <laughs> <laughs> I love that this. On my side. <laughs> um... The power of gay pirates on my side! I <laughs> you know, I kinda have to. I, I, I have to for the laughs. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. 
<laughs> that was all silent, terrified. Maybe Seder doesn't work like that, but what does it matter? <laughs> Over the course of the day, even the boldest nobles quick to vote with the crown. It's so easy, relaxing, efficient. You finish early for the first time in months. With the church at your back, you have license to do what you please, as long as you keep on the Ninth God's good side, of course. A long, glorious and venerated reign awaits for Saint Quinta. We did it! We did it! You got golden gay pride on your side! <laughs> Rushing to complete the scheme, the Counts attempt their blood ritual too early. The summoned demon escapes their control and slaughters doesn't, including Delvira and Count's Sir Spiders should- No, not Sir Spiders! <laughs> <laughs> the chiefs decided that the time must not have been ripe. The prophecy was quietly forgotten by all except the god speakers who waited for the right omens to rise again. The patricians celebrated their victory and Quinta was venerated as a true hero of the coast. But some whispered that the patricians were losing control of their puppets as the queen consolidated her power around her heir, her apparent Quinta II. Praise be! Under Saint Quinta's reign, the church was all-powerful. The only thing warmer than the hearts of the believers were the heretics being burned- Oh no! <laughs> burned alive! The queen died peacefully after another 15 years of devout rule. Was I that old? Legends say that an angel appeared at her bedside to bear her to the ter thereafter. <laughs> I did it! And I I married Orate! Yay! Oh, we can see the wealthiest noble, Cobalt, and the poorest, Arachnus. <laughs> and look at our absolute, just incredible face. Also, a very strong military. We also have good farmers, though. Yeah, you do. The, the poor chiefs. Um... We'll donate some turnips. Let's go... To the lounge. Great time. Yeah, it is high oh. time. My 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 throat is sore. Yeah, you're not. My eyes are tired. Eight hour stream kind of gal. And thank you for the follow, sir spiders. <laughs> you have been a very very wonderful count. <laughs> thank you guys, all everyone, for being here for my birthday. You made this a wonderful time, and I had so much fun. Thank you so much, Rizzy and Martin, for being here to 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 read and just. Always yeah. a pleasure, Michael. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Rebel against me and chop my head up twice, but then let me win the last time. <laughs> yeah, war under the bridge. Speaking <laughs> exactly. of rivers. Oh no, not again! And yeah, thank you, all of you, for coming in, watching, and and just being a good vibe. It is very much appreciated. With that said, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!